Okay, so last time, you guys, uh, from the previous last session, uh, Randy had told you guys that the drunken person, the fake drunk person at the bar had given her the slip via spell. Mm -hmm. So it was... You could you it was probable what the casino kind of was on high alert at that point and may have been aware of some of your guys intentions. Um, while at the pool hall, Aoife uh, relayed to the group that apparently the establishment uh, in the pool hall at the bar was giving free drinks out. And this was actually true to the rest of a bar because people were starting to get liquored up by these free drinks. Um, you guys didn't touch anything. Uh, Aoife, you had headed to the, on the pretense of going to the restroom, I put that in quotes, and you used this opportunity to sneak into the storage room where you had, uh, some of the guards were coming in and out of that area. Um, you hid in the storage room and discovered, you know, two individuals having a co casual conversation, and then this guy coming up the stairs with a large crate with a big leaf on it. You, you... You, you think it, it it was probably drugs because leaf drugs um eventually you were spotted and you, you were able to feign drunkenness and was escorted back to the casino area where you relayed your findings to the rest of the party uh while this was happening zaitari you had uh, fin concluded your performance and you had asked the Baroness uh, Godalta to show you around the casino which she gladly did and took you around the place and explained a bunch of stuff about like the elven icon art, uh, art and sculptures that were placed around the casino itself. itself. Um, you guys you, you chose her because she happened to have this uh, little paw tattoo under her shoulder blade when you got all mm -hmm. close and personal. So mm -hmm. maybe related to the hounds. But anyways, you guys ended up chilling near the fountain where you relayed to Rain that you guys were there and she came up and swiped a few strands of the Baroness's hair in case you needed it for later because it's always good to have a couple hair strands just for <clears throat> scrying. Yep. Yes. Uh, you also learned about the Baroness's uh, side business was dealing in metals and salts in Turk Rober. Uh, Tilda was with Theo and, you know, she was doing some scouting of her own and noticed that the riflemen uh, in her vicinity all had the same matching golden earring. And they were nodding to themselves as if having a conversation with themselves. So leading you guys to believe this is possibly like an earpiece that works the same way your brooches do. Um, once uh, Tilda was assured that Theo would be fine by himself, she went to go do some scouting by playing some games. And ended up uh, at a speed dragon chest uh, area where she got beaten uh that was that was great um melanie you went to do some hedgehog racing you lost the game you won the game it was all fun yes you smiled at hedgehogs uh rain after all this had taken place uh you guys had oh one more thing uh the two merchants that Theo had met earlier in the week to talk about an agreement uh, were leaving the casino. Uh, it was a gnome and that human that he had pointed out to Tilda earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and I think somebody watched them as they were just getting their coats and leaving. Um, Rain, you headed to the storage room uh, down the staircase, found yourself in a long uh, dirt packed tunnel. Uh, there were a few doors from side to side. Tunnel went about 100 feet under, uh, you know, 100 feet uh, in one direction, roughly. Uh, you tried to check out one of the doors, and you got the door open, but there was a very large puppy at the other end of it who immediately was checking out the door once you opened it. Uh, you decided, you know what, I'm just going to close this door. Because puppies. Um, a Gadar a Gar um, Gardarnian uh, shepherd, we call it. Uh, you guys eventually decided to leave the casino, not all at once, you guys went in groups, uh, you reconvened together and guesstimated where the tunnel was gonna end. 
which led you to a nearby warehouse district uh, com comprised of three warehouses. Two of them uh, were recognizable uh, by Tilda. The third one, which was called Clover Prizes, she or Theo could not recall who those belonged to if they didn't know the owner. So you guys went, scouted the area, overheard the who you supposed was the leader talking to some people um, that were not in the vicinity and heard something along the lines of it's fine they're gone we kept them long enough so immediately you guys were worried we're and, like, what the <laughs> and you messaged tegan <laughs> and asked is the vault okay which she responded by going to the vault and saying it looks fine to you uh tilda messaged edgar her father-in-law and asked if everything was okay at the at her place and he's like everything seems fine so things things seem fine um several minutes later <laughs> several minutes later stefan messaged the group <laughs> and alerted you that moose was found injured and shadak was nowhere to be found and Needless to say, you guys decided, okay, it's it's time to go fuck some people up and question some people. So you fucked these people up who turned out tur turned out to be lycanthropes of all varieties and two vampires. How did they get in there? Who knows? And dispatched well, the vampires got away cause missed. And I believe you captured one of the were spiders. There's also the people that we have, uh, I think I said banana bread for what they're... Yes, the were spiders. <laughs> yeah, the were spider. Yeah. I see one were spider that is currently alive and... Nope, two. Two were spiders that are currently uh, banana bread. And yeah. you have the were alpha wolf's skull. Um, but yeah, that's that's where you are. Uh, I believe the plan currently was summoning the mansion to yep. interrogate them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it's it probably is. the best idea. So I would like to to uh, Melanie would like to talk to Zaitari and say, all right, um, well, how many people do we have laying down right now? I believe it looks like you have two. Two is it? Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, so I would like to talk to Zaitari and say. Okay, uh, can you make sure that your, ma your mansion appears with manacles, <laughs> maybe some rope, uh, uh, at least one chamber big enough for everybody, and two side chambers that are, you know, nice and uh, quiet-like, and uh, that way they can <laughs> be separated. Sure. I can uh, modify the basement oh, to be our own personal chair. Can chair. you? Uh, thank you. Also, I need one of the rooms, if not both of them, to have just a nice big tub in it. Oh no. We are not waterboarding them. No, no, I'm not waterboarding them. It's no, it just needs a tub. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Just... Here, the... I don't know what you would expect, but for all rooms in my, you know magnificent mansion to have uh, anything but their own private bathrooms and then a large shared bath. That's perfect. Thank you. Alright. Gonna go pick this motherfucker sucker up and, and take him to the door. Okay. Is me carrying them going to break the hold that Saitari has on them? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you have a, you have a safe word. Yeah. Because unless Zaitari says the word that I said she should, then uh, no, nothing's going to happen. I don't remember what that word was, but I remember it was pretty random. It was banana bread. Sorry, what's for breakfast oh. in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Mallory is saying banana bread. Yeah, I, 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 I understand. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, so you have this were spider who hasn't changed back yet. Um, and this person appears to be normal. I believe you were able to get him before anything happened. 
And then you have the head of the, the werewolf, who's still a werewolf head. I'm assuming we could also probably go around and find some heads if we needed to. Oh, but... oh, de oh definitely, yes. Um, I will go ahead and pick up the people that are currently uh, compelled okay. and drag their asses into the mansion gently so as not to damage them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to break any compulsions. And then I would like to gently, ever so gently, manacle their asses up. Okay, uh, you're going to need one, two, you're going to need three sets for the were spider, <clears throat> just, just FYI. Yeah. Um, the other one, uh, who seems to be normal, only has one set of arms currently. Okay. All right, cool. All right, uh, so you drag them to the mansion. I'm not going to make you roll anything, because there's no fucking way. <laughs> Got 27 strength. Yeah, I'm there's no fucking probably way. Probably going to be able to lift them at. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Probably bench them with one hand. All right. Uh, Do you guys want me to... Oh. Do you guys want me to stay out in the warehouse and just hide myself so if anybody comes back in, I can spy on them and see what they're saying? Uh, yeah, that uh, was probably a... Well, <clears throat> Rain is obviously probably best suited to it because she could just be invisible forever. But does Rain want to be out here waiting or does Rain want to be in there getting information? Yeah. Do our brooches work uh, from in and out of the mansion? Uh, I don't know if they work between planes or not. I do yeah, not. Uh, you have. You have come up before it. The... You could test it. Have we had this come up before? I feel like. We... I feel like this has technically happened before. Um, the um the the portable hole is technically another plane, and it didn't go out. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. I remember that. Also, that totally it that might out. be something that it might not work if we close the door, but we could open the door and it would work. That type of deal. Um. <clears throat> Uh, somebody staying out would be great. Uh, that would make a good sense, because uh, very possible somebody's going to come back here. Um, whoever wants to stay out, it's fine if Rain wants to stay out, or if Eva wants to stay out. But we'll probably need uh, Mallory and myself inside, or uh, Atari and myself. Yeah. Um... So it's up to Rain whether or not Rain wants to be getting information or keeping watch. I'll volunteer staff because I have to go pick up my groceries and I'll be listening in and I can chime in if I have to. Uh, but I'm just going to want to do something real quick uh, with uh, Rain's going to go up to Mel and be like... <clears throat> Actually, um, before before we forget that we were asking this question, um, Tilda could stay outside on her broom and that way, you know, no one has to pilot her through anything. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely grab the uh, wand of healing offer just in case we have to get real nasty. But... <laughs> Fair. But uh, Rain is going to say uh, to Mel, uh, we're going to get her back. But And I don't oh. care what happens to these people. Um, but trust me, I know that when people are hurting, they'll say anything to make the hurting stop. It's fine. I know. I've <clears throat> I've been around before I came here, and you're right. But we need information, and we might not get it from our dead friends. Right. Because obviously, if any of them have any affection for each other, friendships, hurting someone that they like or they love. Oh, best. I think you're really going to like my plan then. Yeah. Gonna continue gently manacling the spider. Okay. Just... Oh no. <laughs> He's got so many legs to lose. <laughs> I'm gonna, um. I don't know how it. Put... Sorry, so go ahead. No, it's okay. I'm gonna put the door to the magnificent mansion. Um. Probably like, uh. You see, like, right here where there's, like, this space between these boxes mm -hmm. and, like, more boxes stacked up. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm gonna put it. All right. Um, I'm going to bring Theo and Tilda inside, and I'm going to say that the warehouse doors are currently closed. I assume you guys would close them after you were done with everything. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, did we have, what, one vampire person we know got away? Was there anybody else that we saw get away? I'm sure Tilda would have told you the other one probably got away. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any sun powers to deal with the mist, so... 
Tis but a shame. Okay. Um, besides, I'm trying to think. If you chop off a spider, wear spider's arm. How does that translate when he shifts? Anyways. Um, okay. We might find out. Oh, finger. <laughs> <laughs> we might find out. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, the wear spider and the regular dude inside. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, so once they're both nice and manacled, uh, I would like to uh, kind of stand in front of both of them in the, in the room that we have together and just say, Well, it's been a very exciting evening. I know especially for myself, having found out my daughter was kidnapped, and your little group was responsible for it. So here's the thing. We need information. And one of you gets to give us the information we need. And we don't need the other one. So, you know, keep that in mind. And then I would like to take one of them to one room and one of them to the other room. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, who's going where? Like, um, are you are you leaving somebody with the other guy, or are you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys never get to be alone. Okay. Yeah, I'll be with the other one. All right, so there's with one. Are you taking the regular dude or the spider? Um, I'll go ahead and take the non-spider, because I... The, the, the spider doesn't really... I don't think it can speak English right now, so... Or common. Uh, uh, so... I... Are these the ones that have been banana-breaded? Yes, they have both been okay. banana breaded. Okay, well, uh, I will accompany Melanie with the other one uh, so that I can whisper banana bread to it, and then I will go back to the other room. Okay. I would like to toss him in the empty. Is it a him or a her? Uh, they're, or, both, I mean, I... they're both male. Okay, uh, so I would like to place this gentleman in the tub before she banana breads him. Okay, he is in the tub looking okay. quite frightened. Okay. Is there are there invisible servants or like ethereal or whatever kind of floating yeah. around? Um I'll give you the rundown but like before we run in like how it all works, uh there'll be a few that'll listen to you. So um I would like to to flag down one of the uh semi corporal uh people and just be like oh, It just kind I of get... appears. <laughs> oh, hi there. Could I get uh some toast with jam? Uh, a good, healthy portion of whatever jam you're feeling like giving me is great. Thank you. Uh, they go off to do what you have requested. Okay, perfect. Uh, and is, is Rain coming with me, or is she staying? It's up to you guys. She is currently in groceries. Well, KK is oh, currently yeah, yeah. helping with groceries. Do I sound okay? Yep. Okay, um... I'll go with Mel. Okay. Alright, Mel okay. and Rain are with uh, non-spider dude. Uh, so non-spider non dude in mm -hmm. the tub. Yep. He's, it, uh, it's, it's an empty tub, I assume, right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, empty tub. Uh, and uh, I have requested jam and toast. Yes. And I would like to... And he's been banana-breaded. Yes. So i just like to say... Well, what's your name? Can't just keep referring to you as non-spider person. J J J Jonathan. Jonathan! Hi, Jonathan. Hi. Uh, you heard me earlier, right? Yeah. I need information. Mm -hmm. So, do you know where they're taking my daughter? I... He looks really scared. I, um, Here's the thing. I mean, he I better. Promise, I promise. And you can take this. As, I, I, am a man, I am a woman of my word. Okay, I promise. Whoever tells me what I need to know will leave here alive and sane. Okay? Melanie, so, are you being truthful? I am. Okay. 100% Melanie is telling the truth. Okay. He looks really nervous and he says, I... I honestly don't know anything about that. The boss just told us, you know, like he told the others, like just to keep on keeping keep an eye on you guys, and you know that 
boss boss he pauses boss would you know had a thing to do longer the better he said okay well tell me something useful that you know and maybe if it's useful enough you can leave well the 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 boss's boss boss i'll guess i'll I'll just say like head boss i guess at this point i I don't too many words um sure like he he kept, he sent those you know the 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 ladies that you guys were fighting those aren't our guys he said people like that a lot vampires like pale and cold and... okay yeah it's the vampires yeah. Weird. that was just Mallory yeah, yeah. <laughs> clarifying yeah. I take my toast from the ethereal person yep uh, and it's I strawberry my... jam by the way strawberry Thank you. Okay. So there were vampires working with you. Mm -hmm. Weird. Did you work with them often? I mean, whenever whenever Birdie told us to them to follow us around. Who's Birdie? Birdie was one of the, 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 the folks that head boss sent to keep an eye on things. Lady, you know? kind of pale, kind of cold kind of like them ah do you know where um you had kept other sacrifices that you had used to dr try to bring back these old gods that you guys love so much he looks bewildered <laughs> what what were you talking about sacrifices I've never oh, sac the dragon we cult, the blood sacrifices to bring back the dead gods. Look, I already know what you guys do. You don't really have to play this off. He really looks confused. Um, what? I, I've, I, I've, 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 I've never heard of any like dragon cults. Insight check. Yeah, insight check. He seems to be genuinely confused. I, what does your organization do then? I mean, you're obviously kidnapping people. So what else do you do? I mean, we. I mean, we do. I guess the 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 the, the stuffs would call it. I guess the the fancy word is human trafficking. And. Okay. Drug where dealing? Do you, where do you take your traffickies? Oh, um, to, like, brothels and other gangs. Sometimes they go to, across the ocean to, to, That's... to the bear. You know what? My toast has too much jam. I scrape it off into the tub. I'm going to go talk to your friend uh, and because you've not given me anything helpful it might be a while it might not i don't know here's the thing i you know what i i changed my mind about the jam uh ethereal th servant uh i would like to get some more jam uh just like about a you know, like a really hearty spoonful and i just want you to toss it in this tub and just keep doing that over and over again until i get back okay just Wait, 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 I, 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 listen, I don't know anything. You, you might want to talk to, uh, I mean, yeah. Birdie might still be at the, the, the casino. That's what she, where she was supposed to go tonight. What, um, one moment. What were the names of the people that, um, uh, so there were, hold on. That sounds really familiar to me. Uh, so there is Baroness Gerdelta, uh, uh -huh. Sir Grey, mm -hmm. and Birdie Grimm. Ah, okay. Her skin was cold, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, 
assuming that I'm like conveying all of the stuff that he's saying through the brooch to Zaitari. And he's like, I don't know anything. Look, Lee, I don't know any sacrifices or like kidnapped daughters. I got like five kids of my own. Like that's why. Oh, I, I, were I... they also human trafficked? No, no, no. I mean, oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, interesting. Fine. Stop with the jam for now. And I'm assuming there's already a little jam. Yeah, he, kind of he's just like, guy. like I don't, I don't know anything about no, no dragon cults and the, no sacrifices. All is just, just like, like Taylor, and he like motions to the other like room it's like hey you know i know you're tight on money because y you have three girlfriends so well ex-girlfriends but all right just shh, just sit here quietly for a bit okay? okay i'll go out in the other room with the person who is a spider and zaitari okay oh zaitari was in the other room Zaitari, we might need to go back to the, uh, the place. The... The casino? You know. There's somebody there named Birdie? Yes, I recall. I did a performance for her. Was she still there when we left? Do you happen, did you happen to notice? I don't know, but I could send her ascending. Really? Yes. Do you think so you if could we do have something convincing to get her to meet us somewhere? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, this is also Mallory struggling a little bit for how to convince this woman um, so that we can kidnap her, I guess. Um, hmm. We could just be straightforward. But if you want to... I don't really want to tip our hand so much so that they just murder my daughter. If we can help that. I mean, that would be my you know, least favorite outcome right now. Oh, I realize. But I mean, just like to have a chat. See what they want. They almost definitely want to kill her for that whole god blood thing they're obsessed with. I mean, we don't know that, though. <sighs> Okay, fine. I suppose that's right. Uh, you, spider dick. Um, Do you know anything useful? He kind of, like, using his manacles, he kind of motions to his mouth and, like, kind of shakes his head. I know you can't speak. Change back, asshole. <laughs> he shifts back. What was the question? Tell me. What do you know about the dragon cult? He looks very confused. Ah! We got um, dear, why don't we need... boys. Why don't... Yes, because you decided to kill their uh, leader. Um, how about we start yeah, by asking some other questions? Okay. Not thinking very clearly. If you have some questions that would help, please be my guest. I mean, not really right now. Um, <laughs> let me think, hold on. <laughs> let me think, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm getting there. Yep, that's right. Um, so basically, they're saying they were they were a distraction. They weren't even the ones moving her. Is what Jonathan told us from the bathtub. Uh, from what you gather, yes. Hmm. Um. What's your name? Taylor, miss. Taylor. Yes. Uh, can you tell us anything about why it is that you know us? Well, you guys are the heroes of Leo, yeah. It's... Besides that. Um, 
boss said to the, like, the security to just keep an eye on you. Um, because our boss's boss wanted you to stay here for a bit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we do what they say and we get paid. Mm -hmm. Do you know who your boss's boss is? Well, like... Not exactly. I've I've never seen them. I know. Okay. I know it's whoever. <sighs> Rumor is because, and he kind of just get to the point. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Uh. James. Jim. Yeah. The 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 our, the, our, the boss. Our boss. You you killed. He, mm -hmm. uh, which, which one of them? The werewolf. Like, the werewolf. Ah, he okay. was the werewolf. Yeah. Um, he took some. He he was getting a lot of money. He was telling us he was getting a lot of money from Smoke, and then like Smoke was talking to getting stuff from somebody else. Uh, who's Smoke? Uh, they're like some big head honcho. Uh, they were siphoning money to us to make sure, like, things got done. One of the things, I think, was, like, keeping y'all at, at the casino for a bit. Okay. When Smoke wanted to communicate with James, how did he do so? Uh, did he send a messenger? Did he do so magically? I, 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 I don't know, miss. Like, I have no idea how he got the messages. Well, he was wearing that earring, like the oh. other guards in the casino. Oh, he was? I didn't really notice. <laughs> yeah, that's how he was uh, getting... That's why he was talking before we jumped them. Oh, um, do you still have his head on you? Is it outside? I'm fairly sure that it's in the bag of... Uh, sorry, no. Uh, the portable hole. Uh, I would like to fish around in the portable hole and take that earring. Okay. Um, I'm just going to, if it's culturally normal, I'm assuming Melanie has pierced ears, I would like to pop that earring in. Sure, and if you didn't even have pierced ears, you can re do it real simple. I'm sure you had a pretty high tolerance to pain at this point. Yeah. 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 Mm. Haven't put earrings in for a while, it kind of binges. All right. Do I hear anything? Um, it would probably take some time to, um, attune to. I'm going to go sit in the corner quietly and attune to an earring while my daughter is trafficked. Okay. Um, <sighs> I'm going to continue asking this person questions. Okay. Um, so do you know anything of the hierarchy of your organization? Well, Who is? The, the werewolf you killed was... The leader was the leader of the hounds, mm -hmm. and then I knew that like we, I we don't work with smoke often, but they usually gave us like, you know, good stuff, like mm -hmm. so we would, um, we would do stuff for them because you know the money and the info was good, and apparently they were doing something for somebody else. Usually they have like their pick of the 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 gangs around here because whoever's in like smokes good favor got ahead. I see. Yeah. And uh, who is the smoke individual exactly? Uh, I've never like met them or seen them. Uh, I all I know is some head honcho. Maybe government official or something like that. Rumors. Mm. Right. Is this ringing yeah. any bells for me? Yep. Like smoke. I'm gonna try, please. Um, I'm pretty sure Rain might have told you. Uh, Rain has um spoken 
to I, I think Rain told you about what Danica said. Uh, Danica is doing some work for a very high ranking criminal um, boss right now named Smoke. They go through a gotcha. few aliases, but they don't usually they, nobody's ever seen them specifically. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. why we were looking for him, but I didn't know if we managed to find any other connections other than Danica. So far, no, but, um... So, um, this birdie person... Yeah. Um, obviously a vampire. Uh, is she just some outside organization that you usually don't work with, or is she also, like, somewhere in this chain? Uh, apparently, werewolf... Not, um... He says, uh, Jim, one of apparently there's somebody higher to smoke, and he said, like, he sent her to keep an eye on us, made sure we did our jobs right. Okay. Brought in Do those you weird ladies. To know where they're based out of? No, they usually leave before, you know, morning most of the times. You said you brought in those weird ladies. Did you ever have to pick them up somewhere? I yell from the corner. <laughs> no, they, 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 they handled themselves fine. Kind of like, seemed to be, get around the city quicker than we could on foot. I, I assume mean, that magic. does make sense. You just hear uh... Melanie yelling in frustration and then she goes back to her <laughs> attunement. I mean, they are vampires after all, so it makes sense. Um, is there anybody here that would usually talk with Birdie besides, uh, obviously, the person that we murdered? Um, well, probably Jester. He who is he, that? Uh, he runs the casino. He's usually Was he like here tonight. I think so. What animal is he? I might have killed him. He's he's not an animal. He runs he he runs the casino. He sets up all the private performances and stuff. Is this the one that I uh, interacted with? Yes. Okay. Well, him I can get in the room. Uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. But obviously, I'm going to need help if we're going to try to get him. Um. We only have a little bit more time when we have any sort of elements of surprise. I just don't know how to get him somewhere where. So I remember. He'd be separated the... from his protection. Uh, so at the casino, I remember there were a lot of heavily armed guards. Yes. How heavily armed and how, like. Are we talking like, damn, those are like. like palace guards those guys know what they're doing are we, are we talking like damn that's some random thug with a gun like from from what if you, you've spoke amongst each other you probably know that the it was I, I, Zytara tried, I think Zytara tried to clock this um the artillery men looked like they knew how to handle a gun like you know yeah. don't stick your finger in the barrel and stuff like that <laughs> they were trained yeah the uh, guns large, or were they more like I think like they were portable? like muskets. They are like muskets, muskets, rifles, you know, that kind of style gun, not pistols. I mean, I could pre probably take a couple jerk faces with a musket. I don't know about like a cannon, but musket I can probably handle. Um, the other guards, they looked like they probably had uh, short swords. So not palace guards, like they weren't armored. They might have some padding, it looks like, underneath what their um, uniform, but not, like, armed to the T. As far as you could tell. Um, just a moment. I have an idea. I'm going to go... Actually, no, it doesn't really matter. We can powwow in here. Uh, Rain! <laughs> I'll just call for Rain. Um, <clears throat> I have a bit of an idea. How about you and I, I will go disguised, uh, go find a nice inn somewhere nearby. Um, don't worry, the spell won't drop. We can come and go as we please. Um, 
And by this, I mean the mansion. Um, yeah. It lasts for like twenty-four hours, right? Yeah. Um, I'll get uh, I'll get myself a room, and then I will send a sending to Jester to see if he can come over and talk. Um, what are you going to use for me? Uh, like setting up a another setting up another performance. Yes. Okay. We'll put him in the portable hole. I'll go invisible and we'll leave. Don't turn flat. Honestly, I just I hold on a second. Rain, if you're okay with this, I I these guys know nothing useful to me. I'm just going to I'm, I'm gonna go get Jelly Man and just bring his <laughs> sticky butt up here and just be like, listen to me. If both of you swear on everything holy that you are never going to join a gang or take any part in sort of human trafficking or anything else that is bad for other people, I will let you both leave alive. Now, how are we feeling about this? Because you're not very useful to me, I'm going to be honest. I was going to murder the person that wasn't useful, but neither of you are. And I don't really think that I need to kill both of you. So, can we swear this? Yeah? They both nod enthusiastically. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll let I them like go. getting off really easy, though. We'll let them go a bit later, dear. Uh, considering that they know... Uh, some things, so how about we keep them locked down in the basement? I was thinking that if we... Eh, yeah, that's fine. I was going to say that this way you have, you know, spells elsewhere. Okay, fine. Basement, think about what you've done. Fucking shit. <laughs> Am I attuned to this hearing yet? It takes an hour! <laughs> no, it's... I don't have time! Can I attune to it while... We're going to this end. Oh, are you guys going without me? We're going without you. <gasps> Get it! Okay, my mother will be there. <laughs> you have plenty of time to attune then. <laughs> okay. Plus, uh, Aoife can come down and uh, question the guards. Maybe there's something that we didn't think of, so... He has just been sitting there in the foyer like, should I go home? Or, like, am I needed here? Can I go? We're outside. Oh no, we left Tilda and Theo outside. Yes, we left Theo and Theo. <laughs> Theo Sorry, Theo. I forgot you were in here. In Melanie's defense, she's been distracted. Well, like, Eva went inside the mansion. She's just been sitting in the entryway waiting for, like, hey, we need your help with this. This is our idea. Let's talk it out. Anything. <laughs> but... I thought you were waiting. I thought uh, you were so, waiting outside to see if anybody No, came because we looking. had Tilda and Theo do that because of the room and they could be up out of the way. Ah, I see. Oh. Okay, so, so I've just been so if it's just like, yeah, I mean if they need me they'll tell me, I guess. Um, so we do we know basically everything we'll know from these guys. So questioning them isn't gonna be useful. What about going up that tunnel from this end? I mean, if it were Aoife and I, we could probably do some damage. Yeah. I mean, I'm still good. I was not scratched in that fight. Um, I'm down a couple key points. I still got like half of them. So I'm, um, I'm good to rumble if we want to go up the tunnel and fuck some shit up and punch some dogs. Like, I'm down for it. Aoife, uh, how much would you like to go up that tunnel and fuck some shit up here and, like, Oh, 45 minutes or something. I mean, it was either, you know, do something like that or go back to where Shattuck was and try and track her. So, like, whichever. Um, why don't I attune to this earring? It's going to take me a few more minutes. And then mm -hmm. once we do that, um, I'm thinking that I'll be able to hear what they are saying to each other. And as such, we could move up the tunnel and possibly know if they know we're there and just 
fuck some shit up. And then hopefully by that time I'll also have uh, the man that we need in the portable hull. Yes. Since the tunnel is connected to the casino, do we want to work on the casino? I mean, I want to. I don't know that we should. I feel like that's a large destruction of property that they might not be okay with, like, as a city. I did not ask if we should. I, you know, I'd be fine with that being a, the, the last result of our night, so. If it's a casino that's covering up for, you know, human trafficking. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm down to go up the tunnel. We'll do, uh, sorry. Uh, we'll do the plan as discussed then. Rain and I will uh, go find an inn. Uh, I'll try to lure Jester out so that we can have a private discussion. Uh, and, and then hopefully we'll be able to bag him. If you can find an inn near the casino, you could, in theory, um, you know, be there should something go terribly awry. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. I mean, you'll have a 45 minute head start before we even start on this side of the tunnel. Yeah, which is uh, ideal. <laughs> um, so, um, while we were walking and also, uh, we're in Vox, right? Uh, you're in Valido. Valido. Um, would I just be able to ask... Um, Tilda over the brooch um, mm -hmm. if she had a recommendation for a for an inn that was fancy um, not in the yeah yeah there 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 are there are a couple a couple of inns that you could you can go to um, mm -hmm. I need to check something first. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, welcome back. Uh, Rain, you're back, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Rain, about, you know, this is about, this, this all has transpired about, like, 15 minutes, uh, you know, since end of fight till now. Uh, you get another sending from, uh, Stefan. I had to look up how many spells he had for the day. Um, yeah. And he says the following. Uh, we found note in Shadok's bedroom. Do you want us to read it and convey message to you. I feel like they could have just used the sending to send us the message of it, but yeah, uh, it's okay. I think that was for, uh, at rain. It was, yes. I'm just stating that that's a very I tell no one, no. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll relay the message that I said. Uh, Does not appear to be trapped, just saying. Just saying. They might have been a little worried about being trapped, but it doesn't appear to be. And um, I think we should absolutely have them read it. It will hopefully give us some information. I agree. Alright. Tilda! <laughs> <laughs> or does Tilda have something? Yeah, Tilda. Okay. A um, few minutes pass. And... Uh, how many... How many... How, I gotta check his spell slots. Uh, okay, he probably has enough. Um, <clears throat> alright, so third sending from Stefan. Uh, the note says, hold on, the note says they want pieces to the dragon sphere? And you hear, like, a question mark in his head, like, you know, a questioning, you uh -huh. know, yeah. mark. Uh -huh. um, says that they know you have two pieces, getting third, that's 20 words, uh, trade or 
girl dies. Relay this information. Um, I don't know where I put this in. Um, something I would have liked to ask the guy, which I kind of had a hard time because I'm driving. Um, I would like to have described Danica and see if they if they had any dealings with someone that looked like her. Um, Ooh, that's a good idea. Both of them shake their head. Okay. So they want pieces of the Dragon Sphere in return for Shadok. Or that just... makes sense. I'm really pretty sure that they're probably not going to just give our daughter back, so I think we should just probably find them and murder them all. Just That's probably a cents. wise idea. Doesn't sound like there's any way to contact them, though. Maybe they'll be contacting us. Uh, fourth sending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, probably because did not have enough words. <laughs> um, included enchanted piece of parchment to burn with answer. Will designate location of trade. <laughs> when third piece is retrieved. To use that piece maybe to, maybe Tilda can, and Zatari can look at it and pick something up. The paper? And maybe. I don't know, magic, you know, I kind of, you know us. Right. right. I try to make stabbing motions. <laughs> so really, our options are find them and kill them now, or wait until we set up a fake drop and then find them and kill them. So, you know, I'm okay with- I'm not okay with either. I need to find them and kill them now, but... <sighs> we are not going to be able to find them and kill them now. We need to have some patience and gather more information uh so let us be on our way so we have to make sure the dragon sphere parts are protected shadok is only safe as long as they're not in their hands true alexander is the one that knows where all of them are right yeah and the other members of the dragon protector people. Um, oh, right. So you know what? We should probably let Theo know that this is what they're after. And that way, if he has a way to send a message to Alexandria, he can let her know. Yeah, considering that, you know, they're in the Feywild doing crazy shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck. That's part of this timing. Yes, it is. Son of a bitch. So, what are you guys going to do? Um, I think we're going to execute our plan as planned. Pursuing a uh, jester, right? Yes. We'll go to the inn uh, that uh, Tilda recommends. Um, I will go disguised as my human self with the, you know, the Serafina alias, mm -hmm. yada yada, uh, get myself a room. Okay. Uh, uh, and I'll figure out what I want to send him. Okay, the closest, moderately nice inn, uh, closest to your uh, location is, she She has uh, two inns that she knows of. Uh, mm -hmm. They are the Windy Dandelion and the Wow, really? I named it that? <laughs> uh, I was going to say, one option Rain would have mentioned that. Uh, she doesn't think the group would like, and I don't think we'll like as players, but we know the princess is nearby. This is Valido. We could just fucking drop the hammer on the place 
and just call it a fucking yeah. palace? Yeah, we could, um, but I'm worried that, uh, you know, due to that whole escape tunnel thing that they have, they probably have others. Um, the exclusive bassoon. <laughs> just so, throwing it up. No. I'm just yeah, worried that Jester's going to escape. Yeah, I feel like we should try to, while they don't know we're onto them, um, and maybe, I don't know if anyone has gotten a message yet, so we might still be in the clear. Um, once we're not, then we we might need to go ahead and get assistance. Yeah, I mean, that actually Imagine might be a good idea. Preparing to drop the hammer, even, you know, ready to go in in two hours or something, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Um, I just want—I want to try to grab Jester first. Um, cool. And honestly, uh, once we do that, I could try to send a sending to the princess uh, so that we could tell her what's going on. But the other thing is that uh, if word reaches back to Shadow's kidnappers, they could just kill her. Right. I mean, it would remove their leverage, though. Yeah, and if they thought John Wick was scary... I'm assuming he's a priest of the court or something. <laughs> Legends, but... man. Legends about that man's dog. Yep. Okay, so some of you are going through a tunnel and going to the casino. In 45 minutes after I attuned to this earring. Okay. Um... We'll right. go to uh, whatever the first one that you said was. Uh, the, the windy, windy dandelion. dandelion. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you can go there. Uh, there is a bored woman. Oh. Not so bored when you enter the establishment. Uh, are you Seraphina at this point? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I... Yeah, before before we start going anywhere, I'm going to be Seraphina, so. Okay. Uh, my name's Aaliyah. Welcome to the Windy Dandelion. Can I help you, miss? Uh, yes, I would love to book a room for myself uh, for the, the night, please. Okay. Uh, 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 any quality of room uh, that you are looking for? Your finest establishment. Okay, uh, we do have uh, several rooms available, so uh, let's see, uh, it will be uh, five gold pieces for tonight. Very well, I will hand uh, over six gold pieces, All right. you know, and, one yep. for a tip. Yep, and she will hand you a key and tell you that your, uh, your room is on the second floor. Uh, the number on the key is uh, 14. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, just to let you know, I might be having a visitor this evening. Mm -hmm. um, I will tell them where to uh, come for my room. All right. Perfect. Uh, well, if you need anything, uh, even like our um, complimentary uh, travel kit, uh, just let us know. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Go up to the room. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, Brush. No. The hell in a complimentary travel kit. I know that's like, pretty legit. Um, comb, <laughs> comb, uh, toothpaste. Hard Would you say uh, second floor room four? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, that's it. All right. Um, all right. I'll find the room, get myself set up. Uh, you know, find any potential exits. Uh, then I will send a setting to Jester. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me type it out. Uh. Hold on, I'm gonna do a word count thingy. Yep. Are you gonna do a residency at the bath? Uh, the bath basilica. <laughs> uh. Build you a stadium. No. Get <laughs> <laughs> your heart out, Celine Dion. Oh. <laughs> uh... The twisted dandelion? The the windy winding. dandelion. Winding.
Okay. Hmm. Uh. I can't do too much flirting. Mm -hmm. Like, so you just have to imagine the tone. I, I am, I, I, I am that. envisioning the tone. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sultry tone. Yes. <laughs> Apparently my only sultry voice is also southern. <laughs> I don't know. I mean... Uh, I'll say to rain over the brooch. Um, uh, he'll be here soon. It's closing up for the night. Find yourself in whatever position you would like to be in. Um... So I in this land, I know people saw me, detected me. Is there like a, a sitting room that's separated from or a bedroom from wherever the guard would welcome him in? So I'm not least, I'm going to be invisible but not, you know. If they can see through invisibility, I'd rather not be seen. Is there somewhere I could do that? A wardrobe I can hide in, something like that? Oh yeah, there's definitely like a wardrobe. <laughs> oh um... yeah. yeah. The wardrobe will just open um, you know, and close and the time. I'm sure I can figure it out what happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, from my bag of holding, I'll take out like two bottles of wine, uh, find some glasses, you know, get everything set up. And Make let's... it look like we're going to be having a lovely chat. And, and, uh, and I'll take note of where um, uh, rain has gone, and I'll sit myself and I'll place the chairs in such a way where I'll be sitting so that I can see the um uh Wardrobe. cabinet but he shouldn't be able to like i'll and i'll leave the door unlocked so that he can come in basically just trying to make it as efficient as possible <laughs> okay uh what are you guys doing with Efa? she's coming with me to go up the tunnels okay sounds good mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna fuck some shit up together uh, and, um, Tilda and Theo can, um, watch the basement. Okay, sounds we're good. We're totally the most responsible duo. Yeah. Yeah, uh huh. Um, <laughs> have you told Tilda and Theo what you guys found out? Um, I'm assuming that, yeah, we, we would have given them all mm -hmm. the information, because especially since we wanted to tell Theo about the ransom note being about the Dragon Sphere pieces, so that he could let Alexandria know. Okay. Um, Theo looks very concerned, especially when you tell him that Stefan said that he knows you guys are getting a third piece. Assuming that was the thing that Danica was trying to get, was that not what he was referring to? No, it seems like that uh, that's why they have went to the Feywild, is to get this other piece. Oh, oh, I thought it was the Danica thing. No, he, he, looks, yeah. he, he looks concerned, he says, nobody, nobody knows about that piece besides us. You have, then you need to clean house, because something's leaking. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would imagine we had this conversation. Before yeah. We left. Yeah. Um, who all knew about this? You guys. Obviously, it was you guys yes. and me, Alexandria, Angelo, Bryn, Iskin, Isadora. Now I'm trying to think that I mentioned the Feywild, Danica. <laughs> Um, I don't think that you did, because I want to say that your conversation with Danica was before Theo said he was going to the Feywild. Mm -hmm. I, like, well, time-wise, yeah, I don't think you even had that information yet. I don't think I did, but I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> how, how did they know we're going after a third piece? Where did we have this conversation? Wasn't it in, um... 
I think our keep has a spy. No, no, no. Um, I thought we had this conversation in the mansion. Oh, this conversation with, with Theo? I'm assuming we would have had in the mansion, yeah. No, 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 no. With Alexandria. I mean, with Alexandria. I think you guys had it in the mansion. I remember having it in the mansion, yeah. Um, I think maybe the more likely possibility is that we were scried upon. Uh, or somebody's leaking. So. I mean, it could even be that somebody's spying through, you know, detect thoughts or anything like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a purposeful leak. Yes. It could be a, a magical one. <sighs> could be any number of things. Okay. Time to buy, like, 17 amulets of non-detection and just tape them to all our servants. <laughs> okay. Uh, he lo Yeah, he looks legitimately like... <sighs> Alright. Uh, I'll try to get in contact with her. Also, we know that our enemy has fucking face-stealing technology, so... There's that. Hmm, true. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out something. He looks, yeah, he looks, he looks pretty rattled. This evening is over. We should be able to have the spell slots to spare to send us sending to Alexandria. But we are sort of possibly looking at, you know, combat situations maybe, uh, or trying to get, you know, possible useful witnesses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. And with the Feywild running on a kind of different timeline, there's not as much of a hurry to contact her. Yeah, yeah. So you did know they were going for a third piece? Yeah, she she told me. That's why she wanted me to go to the, to the Feywild. To go... Apparently there's a white dragon who has it. Uh, what are people who went to the Feywild? Because I'm not really up on this part of your guys' lives. This is also kind of new to me. Mm -hmm. uh, are those people that only really like hang out together when they're doing like a dragon end of world stuff business? Like, w could you repeat the question? Uh, are the people who are in the Feywild like the kinds that only really hang out together and like go on trips together when they're doing like end of world dragon stuff business? Yeah, I mean, Iskin uh is. You know, he, he he nods over to Rain, you know, is usually around. Um, Isadora travels around doing music stuff with her friends. Um, Angelo and Alexandria are usually taking care of shop business from what I what I know and like things like that and and then Bryn is Bryn's usually over in Skorik. As far as their familiarity with each other, which I think is kind of part of your question, Angelo and uh, Alexandria are brother-sister, so they'd be fairly familiar with each other. The Theo and Iskin are the new additions, yeah, as like, is Bryn. Yeah, Ray remembers all this. Uh, Eve has not been told any of this. <laughs> oh, I... He'll, we'll they'll break it right down. Now. He'll he'll break it yeah. down for you. Um, could it just be... And, like, chances are you guys have a spy, because you're, like, famous and rich. Um, but it also could just be, like, they know those people have affiliations with dragon stuff, and then all the dragon stuff people go. Because they didn't say, from what you said, Ren, they didn't say, I, we know you're in the Feywild looking for a third piece. They just said, hey, we know you're looking for a third piece, because maybe it's, they noticed all the dragon people are gone and missing, and last time that happened, they got the second piece. So it also could be them just stabbing in the dark and making uh... some assumptions and hoping for a result. People they do, do occasionally they do occasionally get together for other things um it, usually it's some sort of dragon problem you know like that old blood nonsense crap <sighs> in uh dwarven lands i mean i think eva probably has the right of it though they're probably just guessing and guessing correctly based off of the information that they do know 
Like there's, I you can make assumptions about stuff, and like fifty percent of the time you'll be right. They're just making sure they're right by having leverage. So if we weren't already looking for a third piece, then you know this deal they want to make would force us to find a third piece. You know. The trouble is, at this point, I feel as though I have underestimated our enemy, and I don't want to do so again. I have a question, and Theo, Theo is, you see the, the gears turning in Theo's head. Do any of you have the ability, do any of you have the ability of remove curse? I punch um, things. I don't have the ability to do anything outside of that. Not right now. Is... I'm, I'm not sure if Tilda could do it or not. Why? There's... Something's not adding up. And you see, like, just, do, he starts to pale a little bit. Going to need more information, if possible. I... You think somebody is under some sort of curse? Are you cursed? I... I don't know. Ah, you think that maybe somebody is using you without your knowledge? P possibly. <sighs> Fuck, I don't have greater res right now. Um, what in particular is making you think that, Theo? I... Do you have gaps in your memory? It's just something... Well, I was in the casino. Something didn't make sense to me. Um, I, I maybe I'm I'm starting to second doubt myself, and I just want to be sure. I don't know well. if we can do it at this moment, but I know that we would be able to, uh, if nothing else. And then Rain would, with a little bit of. Uh, notice uh, they'd be able to do so. Yeah. I mean, we, we can knock you out and, like, chain you up right now. That yeah, do you, I mean... I, I, I assume at this point, Tilda would say absolutely not. Well, yeah. <laughs> She's um, a pregnant woman. I can, hold, I can, I can restrain her. <laughs> um, I think that you should probably just stay here uh, in the mansion. Yeah. Tilda will keep an eye on you make sure nothing happens. Yeah, that I think that would be a good idea. Something specific, Theo. A person, a thing. Uh, when it happened. Yeah. What did it feel like? like? I remember. The headache you got. Yeah, like when I when when I was trying to recall some specific details of of the the deal I made with the two merchants um, that the um, the merchant association from Ironfast sent over. You know, to talk about the roads. Um, I was just thinking extensively on that and something just didn't seem to add up. Were you like brainwashed and then like you said the trigger word and like all your secret powers came back online? I... I, I... Are you gonna kill us all now? <laughs> Is that what's gonna happen? No, I... Because <laughs> like we'll kill you first. <laughs> At this we point. should probably not kill the father of the pregnant... Woman's child. She can always get another one. <laughs> oh my god! I'm... Yeah, at this point, Taylor would say absolutely not. He could, he, if we were that worried, he could stay in the in the mansion for now, and she'll stay with him. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's have her stay upstairs with him. We'll put the prisoners down below, and we will have done all of this before we left. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, okay. Alright, so you do that. So I'll make sure that Tilda and Theo are in the mansion. Prisoners are locked in the basement. Mm -hmm. uh, Melanie and Aoife are gonna go up the tunnel to fuck some shit up. Yeah. 
and Zaitari and Rain are going uh, to go to the go to the uh, wayfinding daisy. <laughs> Anyways, um, so since uh, Ray was sitting so patiently, uh, are you? What's going to happen first? What's the plan? Uh, is are you going to wait for Jester to come to the inn first, then execute? I have to wait for Melanie to attune to the earring. Okay, your the earring has been attuned to. <laughs> uh, Eva is not of any mind to wait. Eva doesn't see a point in waiting. If Jester's in the casino and it burns down, and we can talk to the head later. You know? I agree. Okay. That that's fine. Um, by um, the way, uh, the the there's a big like door going down, like over here, under all this like dirt and stuff. So. Um, for Jester, um. And the stuff. Um, about how much time left did Melanie have on her attuning? Probably about half an hour. Hmm. Uh, as we're going to get ready to go down into there, uh, I'm going to do some stretches. Okay. Uh, start limbering up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look, look over at Melanie and, like, I'm assuming you don't care if we leave anyone alive, right? At this point, no. Sweet. Yeah. I'm gonna totally bring out the casino. I'm fine with I that. Also, perfect. I was gonna say, yeah. even if you had a problem with it, you'd have to cash me first. No, don't care. Uh, as long as we don't, like, I'd rather keep civilian casualties to a minimum, but I think that by the time we get down there, it's probably going to be a little emptier. And, uh, I'm okay with killing literally all of these human trafficking scumbags, so... Yeah, do casinos close? I've never been to a casino. Do they close? Do they have office hours? I think they have, like, peak hours, and then, like, you know, off times that are still... Okay. You know, just as a, as a guess. Okay. That they don't keep any clocks, so you don't know what time it is. Well, hopefully they're not too drunk to smell smoke. Because, like, if they are, that's kind of on them. It is, it is. There's just not taking care of yourself. You exactly. Always understand that things could catch on fire at any moment. It's a real danger. Everything's made out, most everything's made out of wood. If Only the fancy are... people got stone anything. So many flammable objects in this world. Okay. Uh, you are attuned to the earring. Um, and you hear the... Um, you, you start hearing, like, a bombardment of questions coming your way, uh, Melanie. Um, they're like, uh, Jim? Jim, you said to close up. Um, everything's closed up. Uh, any other orders for tonight? Jim? Like, and you hear some, you know, like, chatter back and forth. It's like, are we supposed to just wait here? And, you know, things like that. Um, okay. So, it sounds like I'm getting, like, the, the end conversation that they're still not sure what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, I will let Aoife know that, uh, they are probably not expecting anything, and we need to go fuck some shit up. You want to, like, go fast, or do you want to go sneaky? Fast. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to wait for you. Uh, I'm just going to go as fast as I can. Uh, will you, you cool high-five me first? Absolutely. Yeah, high-five first. Yes. And then I take <laughs> off at 110 feet every six seconds. <laughs> You get Crank. there in six seconds. The tunnel is only a hundred feet long. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, maybe we should have gone a little slower. I will say at that I point I have a was. lot of rounds behind you. I can only go 60 feet per round. That's fine. And I've got I've still got a good AC. I got my whip. You, you arrive yeah, six yeah, seconds go. later in the storage room. There are two very surprised guards. The two guys you were actually talking to earlier in the night. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, come on. 
fuck him up. Uh, you know that part in like Shrek where Fiona like jumps up in the air and like freeze frames and kicks them both in the jaw. Yeah. Basically, that's what's gonna happen right now. All right, you. We'll get back to you in a moment. Oh, let's let the bloodbath begin. Oh God. Okay. Back at the dandelion. Um. You know, time has passed. It took a while for Melanie to attune to her earring, but she got attuned, and during this time, uh, you guys are situated in the windy dandelion, and there is a knock on the door. Uh, I say, come in. Okay. I need to check something. <laughs> Uh, uh, when the door opens, uh, you see Jester in his, um, nice ensemble and land bun. Uh, hello? <laughs> Walks in. You're, you're just, like, sitting by a table. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Um... Okay. Um, I say, oh, hello, dear. Please come in. Take a load off. I'm sure you've had a very busy evening. Are you doing like the Cleopatra lounging? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I have, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm like kind of in my, uh, you know, silky night robes attire, looking all sexy and stuff. Like I'm letting some leg and some titty show. So. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, he comes in, he takes a seat. I, I pour us some wine. Mm -hmm. he, he takes it. Um, yeah. So, what can I do for you? I think the performance was a resounding success. And oh. I would love to book some future uh, performances. Uh, oh. If you wouldn't mind. Of course, of course. Uh, we have, you know, we might have, we probably have, um, it takes out like a mole skin and he starts mm -hmm. flipping through pages. Um, mm -hmm. We have like several openings uh, in the coming months that we could probably book you and you. It was a terrible, it was a, it was a very successful night. Um, uh, oh, that's wonderful to hear. Yeah, the clientele had glowing reviews about you. Oh, wonderful. I have to say, everybody was very courteous. This was my first time kind of doing something like this, and I'm very happy that it went over so well. I think something like once a month, maybe going forward for the next couple of months. Oh, yeah. That way, um, you know, it's not too soon. It's something of a limited engagement, but not really. Once a month, yeah. That's he. He starts, you know, scribbling some notes with um mm -hmm. with a little um graphite uh pen, um. Yes, we definitely could do that. And you are you are situated in Leona, correct? I am. Yes. Okay. Uh, and while he while he's taking notes and like seems sufficiently distracted, I uh, like in between like me talking just so I'm paying attention. Uh, st <clears throat> still, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll say over the brooch to Rain. I think now's probably a good time to make your move, dear. Um, do you want to ask at all about Burdett first? Birdie. Birdie, thank you. Okay. I don't know if you want to or not, because that might tip your hand, so... Yeah, I don't want to. I feel like it's just going to tip my hand. I'll wait till they get talking to uh, another exchange and just quietly slip the door mm -hmm. open. Okay. Yeah, I will... Uh, I'll say... Uh, everything was really set up perfectly to my specifications. I... You know, I've been to a lot of different stages, but I do like it when it went. <sighs> I do like it when, you know, the, the venue listens. Mm -hmm. Oh, we 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 just we aim to please, of course. That is wonderful to hear. I'll start yeah, going on about like you know complimenting the casino, mm -hmm. like how did you get into this job, that kind of thing, you know. Take a sip of my wine. I'll have added, just to give us an extra chance, some uh, poison to the blade. I'll take 
cop that I sent my... Okay. Uh, I doubt, doubt he'll sp fail by enough to put him to sleep, but eh, it could happen, you know? Could happen. It could happen. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's, he's scribbling how... notes. Like, give, do give him the old bop stab, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how well this goes, I might uh, cast, like, Hold Person or something, so. Which apparently is a spell that I don't have. But Hold Monster would also suffice. Uh, yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. What? Um, let me check something real quick. How many do I have? Okay, I have two left. Okay. Yeah, I'll risk it. Um, I'm just gonna roll another d20, see if I get 20. Okay, that's fine. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, and you're like, like, you have the poison on, you're like, going for probably a body part that's not vital, I assume? I come, uh, here, here's what I'm imagining. Um, like, I'm going to do like a bop over the head and then a stab uh, into a less vital part. So that, that'll be like the poison, you know? Okay. Uh, all right. I'm not trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh... Alright, so you successfully bop stab him. Um, so. 15. The aggressive. Oh, wait, sorry, right, that's the wrong one. It's a drop poison. Okay. It's only okay. a DC 13. Alright, it, it doesn't take. <sighs> Is he unconscious? Make him, make him no. Roll. Make him roll uh, again. Uh, okay. Roll one more time, and that'll be all my lucky, so. Um, he still makes it, it yeah. I am going to cast Hold Monster. All right. It's basically Hold Person, but it also works on monsters. Okay. Well, and I... if he's a Wear Person, uh, then that might be necessary anyway. So as everything is going down, you're casting a Hold Person. You, you um, you you stab him in the back, literally. You then notice. At the same time, this goes out. Oh no. That something moves in his pocket. He's happy to see you? <laughs> in, his, in, his, like, in his like vest pocket. And as this is happening in slow motion, a bat comes out and shape changes. Okay. We're gonna have to roll initiative. Sure. And you recognize this person. Oh, it's Sorry, Birdie. Totally. It's Birdie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got. I have. I have an. I have an in. I have to. An in room. I have to come up with. <laughs> getting. You're oh, getting. We could just do it. Um. Okay. It's a small enough room. I'll say the room is like. T t t uh, you know, twenty twenty foot room. Yeah, uh, we could just do it like. Uh, yeah. Where am I thinking? Like right over here or something. You know. Yeah, I'll, I'll draw a square or something. Pretend like a lot of that shit isn't in the way. Yeah. You guys are getting two birds with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll, the windows were are going to be just we for can't your all information. notice warehouse, okay? All right. Uh, when, God damn it. There we go. Free hand. All right, so... Oh, you know, my... you know what? Fuck it. I'm having trouble drawing windows! I'm sorry! <laughs> Window here. It's not that big. <laughs> Window here. Door here. Theater of the mind. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we'll pretend like this is the table y'all were at. Rain was somewhere over here. <laughs> And I'll put a vampire down. Because sure. we all know what this is. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, uh, so it's a and, DC 20 win save for him. Uh, which fail. He fails. Wonderful. So, yeah, he fails. Uh, Alright. This is, um... This is, a This a thing. Um, yeah, we'll mm -hmm. use this. We'll use this token again for... Ignore the one in the corner. <laughs> That's her. Uh, and... Hey, you gotta move yourself over there. 
Yeah, Rain, you gotta move yourself. Um, this is him. <laughs> Flew He's out held. of the pocket. He's held. I'll put a little thing there. Okay, uh, you guys can... I gotta delete this. Uh, you guys can roll initiative <laughs> while that's happening. Back at the casino! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good God. Okay, so, Aoife, you have just drop-kicked somebody. Um, my, uh, my plan and my goal is to rip their earrings off of their ears so they can't use them. Ooh. Okay. Good goal. All right, so you're there first, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, like, you go first. Um, roll a, oh, dexterity, De dexterity check. So are you using, I assume you're ambi, there we go. I assume you're ambidextrous. So you could probably, you're going for two yeah. for one. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's see that dex check to see how well you do this. If, yeah. if it's a high enough roll number, 20. you can grab both. Roll 20 is reloading because. Uh, you can also uh, take after the famous fighter uh, Michael Tesson and just bite their ears clean off their heads. It works. She, she, she only like, has one really mouth, though. Kung Fu movie style, but like really old Kung Fu style, like extreme gore, where I kick off both of their ears. Yeah. <laughs> you have like the little figure flying through the air like a fountain of blood. And I will I will roll this once my machine opens on roll. That's me. that's perfectly oh, fine. You are halfway uh, through I'm... the tunnel, Mel Melanie, just so you know. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, go as fast as you Oh my god. She is a dot in the distance. The... <laughs> as I reach out my hands, I'm gonna say into the road. It's like uh, I'm already here. I'm going for it, I guess. <laughs> and I'm just like I'm on my way! I'm on my way! I, just, I can hear you jingling in the hallway and at the distance with your armor on. Jing, 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 jing. It's a soft jingle. It is Mithril, at least. It's, it's approaching jingle bells. Ah, oh, it's nine. Oh, okay. They're, um, they're oh. really sweaty. So, I like, you're... Re -roll. you're... <laughs> okay. I was about to say your your hands just slip off their ears, like if they were covered in lard or something. But we'll we'll, we'll see points. what happens. Two key points to reroll to a seventeen. Okay, um, you get one of them, and the other earring just kind of like falls on the ground. So you have one in your hand. Awesome, but they're not on either of their persons any longer. Correct. Oh, uh, well, mission mission accomplished. Uh, if it, the tunnel's only a hundred feet, <laughs> do I have enough movement to slap my foot down the earring that fell on the ground and just kick it down into the tunnel? Uh, you can kick it down the stairs. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Like, disarming and kicking the gun out of the way. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, you do that. Uh, they are stunned and surprised, but they're not the condition stunned. No, they're just confused. Like yeah, they're literally confused. The, the 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 woman they escorted out earlier has come back and karate yeah. kung fu earrings off. The the drunk teenager they had to save earlier popped up out of the ground and stole their jewelry. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Uh, I'm gonna see if they. Nope. No, Melanie, you get up the stairs because they're slow <gasps> and surprised. <gasps> oh, guys, oh, she runs so fast. I don't know who I'm telling this to. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, are they still standing there like, whoa? Yes. I would like to hit them really hard in their faces with my sword. Okay. Yeah. I will... Oh. Uh, nah, I'm not going to specifically do non-lethal, but I'm not going to like necessarily try to kill them either. I'm just going to see what happens. Uh, 
See how big the gel is. <laughs> All right, you. Uh, so that's... <laughs> okay, uh, you knock one out. Cool. He falls to the ground in a heap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're fighting the babies. <laughs> the real threats are in a hotel room. <laughs> I know. Yes. But we don't know that. Nope. Nope. No. We got a casino to destroy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um. Um. I would like to. <sighs> Never mind. No, it's fine. Um. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Okay. Uh, he is going to retaliate. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm he's he's going... not going to try to run away. Really? Well, he's going to attempt to retaliate. He. He rolled a he rolled a he rolled a twenty, which doesn't hit your armor class. I know that. No. And no. he rolled a one, so he fumbles his mace. This is pretty pathetic. Um, and it's Eva's turn. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna punch him. Okay. I, I will grab him by the front of the shirt. Okay. Uh, and ask where his fellows are. Like, who else are you working with? Who else is here in this casino that you're working with? Uh, uh, she, he points to the casino and is like, the, 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 the security? Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And I'm just gonna, like, position myself so he's between me and Melanie. Okay. And, like, like gesturing, like presenting him like a present. Okay. All right. Have fun, buddy. Just slap him on the back. <laughs> uh, he probably has the realization on his face that since you guys came from the tunnel, everything has gone to shit. He can't tell anybody because I have his jewelry. I know. <laughs> he also realizes that. Okay, as you are, are you, are you guys marching him through the door, pretty much? I would like to just go ahead and knock him unconscious the next chance I get. Um, I won't kill him. But it is your go. Yeah, just hit him until he stops moving, but he's not dead. Partake get as much violence as you need to right now. I, I want to save my violence for the people that deserve my violence. That's He's fair. just a random toady. Did you roll your hit? Oh, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I was... Boop. I boop him. Uh, you might need to... And if needed, I'll boop him two more times. Yeah, I... uh, well, you even booped the last time. Oh. I actually whipped that last one. Yeah, yeah he is... He, you probably broke his jaw. And, you know, a couple more, hit, one more hit like the last one probably will knock him unconscious. Just run down that way and don't ever come back. He will... And I'll, I'll step out of the way if he wants to go. He, he runs like a motherfucker. Oh, that was easy. All right. While you guys are planning what to do for your next move, back in the inn. Plan? <laughs> Uh, Zaitari, you are first. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I see. Yes. Um, I'm going to Hex Blades Curse mm -hmm. on Birdie. Um, okay. With my bonus action. Mm-hmm. Once it... Let's me move it to a zero. Please. Please. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> it's working on it, I swear. Yep, that's fine. And then I was going to go up and whack her. If you non-lethal damage a vampire, are you able to knock them out without letting them turn into mist? 
or once they hit zero, do they just turn into mist? Regardless, I don't of if know. They're... I'm just gonna hit refresh on roll 20. Give me a minute. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah, we can hear you. Alright. Roll 20 was being stupid. I'm just completely reloading it. It didn't even want to refresh. It was like stuck. I'm like, why? Why? Since it did the last update, it's been a little bit more angry with me than usual. Yeah, it's kind of seems like it's been angry with everybody. More so when I'm running my Strahd game, because there's about a million assets loaded into the game. Oh god, I can only imagine. I, I kind of wish that they had taken the Strahd game and they'd made it like two, like two or three separate games, quote unquote, so that you didn't have to load the whole thing every time, because I think it would run better. Okay, but. there's the text for Hexblade Curve. Okay. Um, and then just to maximize it, um, since it doesn't have to be a melee attack, I will uh, go for uh, Eldritch Blast three times. Okay. Uh, these will have my proficiency bonus added. Uh, I just need to... I, I forgot to click it. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just tell you what it is. Um, I'm guessing a 14 doesn't hit. Uh, nope. Oh, wait. Um, is that two attack rolls or just damage rolls? No, it's just damage rolls. Okay. Come on. You can do it. Come on, roll 20. I know you can do it. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Uh, ooh, that was a crit! Because yeah. it crits on a 19. Okay. Sick. All right. Um, so I'll re-roll another d10. Plus 8. All right. Plus 5. Plus 5. And then one more. God damn it, another 14. Okay, All right. that will miss. Uh, is it yeah. the end of your turn? Um, yeah, I use my bonus action, I use my action. Um, e yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Would you like to move? I'm going to move so that way um, I can help out Rain. Okay. At the end of the turn, at the end I of your turn, she will use two. Oh, oh, two oh, oh, oh. Points. okay. She will use two points and bite you. Okay. Is it just an auto hit, or is she trying to hit? Uh, she's trying to hit. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah. Uh, she will take two because I recently run Strahd. Does she have to be grappled to do the bite? Uh, I might be wrong. Allow me to look. Oh, she does. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, sorry. So she'll do the unarmed strike instead. Yep. Uh, my bad. Uh, I just didn't know this was going to happen this fast. Uh, does a 21 That's hit your ar armor class? Uh, it would, but I'm going to use shield. Okay. Excellent. All right. Now it is her turn. She is going to, to unarmed strike you. <laughs> okay. Again. My AC is a 24. 24. All right. Uh, two attacks. Uh, the first one does not hit. The second one will. Okay. And then that will... She will... Do... I guess she'll do a bitch slap. I guess that's the unarmed strike. Um, okay. So that will be... Six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. 
But instead of doing the blood changing damage, she will grapple you. Okay. So you are currently grappled. Okay. Um. So she did the two attacks. Okay. Uh. It is your turn, Rain. Yep. Yep. I wonder. I don't remember if uh, <laughs> vampires are immune to poison or anything, but um, as I try, it looks like she's about to get bit. So I'm gonna at least fucking try with the malice poison. Um, apply it. Mm-hmm. Then try to do a stabby stab. Okay. Three to hit. Um, yes, that will hit. Oh, by the way, uh, at the start of her turn, you did see some of the wounds that you had applied to her Zaitari start close up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that does indeed hit. And she does indeed have to roll that. So allow me to do input damage. So plus 33. And... In con. Yeah, she's she's gonna use a legendary resistance. Yeah, nothing. She she does not want to uh, be blind. <laughs> How dare she? It's fair. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? I'd like to not be here, but I can't really do much about that. So <laughs> fair. I'm here. Fair. I shall be. Okay. Uh, Jester is going to attempt to save. He does not. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I will go through one more round, and then Aoife and Melanie can tell me how they want to kick down the door. <laughs> Saitari. Yes. You um, are grappled. I am grappled, but that doesn't mean I can't hit her. Um, so I'm going to uh, slashy slash. Mm-hmm at her body mm -hmm. um can you use your flourishes while you're grappled yeah there's no reason oh. i couldn't um well we've got the one that ups your ac so i just uh-huh uh-huh yeah yeah <laughs> yes i do soon as it actually lets me roll it's cool also this is gonna have to be two-handed I don't have them separated. So while this is a tell me your plan about how you guys are gonna kick down the door to this casino. Uh I kick you run. I say to Aoife. Like what are we trying to accomplish? Murder I you know, I don't know. I suppose I technically want somebody alive to question, but I feel like we might have already gotten that person out, so I that don't hits. know what we're trying to accomplish. Just destroy things? If we see Jester, who I guess is that dude that was, on that one. you know, okay. with uh, Eva, or somebody who they happen to call Birdie, I don't know what Birdie looks like, so fuck if I know, Okay. Uh, then I guess we'll try to not kill them and just question them later, and otherwise we just kill and burn and destroy everything, yeah. Well, That's... Zaitari and Rain are in a hotel room meeting up with Jester, so... Right, right. So, I guess if you see Birdie, then, you know, kill. Oh, no, not kill. Not the thing I meant. Okay. Is uh, that now. your turn, Zaitari? I am. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, she now is going to use her legendary actions to bite you. <laughs> Good fucking luck. <laughs> My AC is currently a 30. It can go up to 35. Yeah, that's Actually, not this happen. is the this is meant to flourish for some reason. Yes. Alright. Plus, uh, that, does do, it, that does do the extra 10 slashing damage. It's like a maneuver, but different. Alright. Uh, wounds heal up a little bit. Uh, seeing that she can't... Hmm. She's gonna go try and bite <laughs> you again, but she's then gonna try to backhand Rain. Sure. Nope. Rain? <sighs> I'm getting new dice. 
Oh. I wrote fours. Oh. That made me sad. Um. Okay. That that that's it. She's in the this little tango. Uh. Raid. But well, even though. Oh, we didn't even hear that many times, did we? Um, you know what? Um, uh, we gotta survive, so I'm gonna take the bonus action that I have way down here in my infinite list of crap I have. I have, I have a potion of speed. Oh my lord. It. <laughs> so I will drink that, and my AC will go up by dose uh i will try to attack advantage yeah yeah that 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 hit um plus 31 and i really wish i had something that dealt radiant damage so annoying <laughs> And, uh, I gotta remember how the haste action works. Dash, disengage, hide, or... Yeah, fucking dodge. Could we say that I use the melee attack and then I'll dodge with my main at... No, I, 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 have, I don't need to dodge. <sighs> what else could I do? Really interesting. Nothing. I'll just stab again. It's good enough. A look into the thoughts of a rogue. <laughs> Alright, six. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay. Uh. Hmm. 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 All right. Seeing that biting is not working on you, uh, we'll try backhanding rain again, uh, using a legendary action. All these dice are going into the dice chair. <laughs> that is what the, the mimic, mimic is for. Shall feed. Uh, I haven't rolled above a five. Ripperoni. Jester's gonna try to save. Does that do it? You, it's a twenty, right? Yeah. Is a con? Is it con or wisdom? Wisdom. Oh, does uh doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. She's gonna... Come on. Come on, crit. It'll happen. Nope. It's a six. <laughs> she was trying to bite you again. Oh. It wasn't working. I see. Um, Alright. Back to Aoife and Melanie after that round. <laughs> what are you guys doing? The whole, wor the whole casino is your oyster. Do we want to set stuff on fire? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't want to set so many things on fire right now. You, uh, there's probably not a lot of people out there, right? Let, just peek out the door, like, as quietly as you can, and just tell me how many people you see, like, that are just random civvies out there. You know? I'll, I'll transfer you to this map. Pretend you guys are in the... Pretend these people aren't here, because they aren't. Yeah, I will take a peek outside to see just how many people are left. Okay. Um... Take a peek outside. Uh, looks like there's like you know some custodians. A couple of the bartenders are cleaning glasses. Um, there's a bunch of people in the gaming area, so you're like just picking up. So you're kind of in the you know it's time to clean up, go home crew, and some there are some security around. You're in a it's, storage room. It's pretty empty. Are right. there bottles of liquor and or lamp fluid? There's lots of liquor in the storage room. Uh, have you ever made a Molotov cocktail? You know, I've always wanted to. Now let's do some of that. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna rip up my fancy dress to get the fabric I need for it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. And let's make like six of them. Okay. Yeah, the, the three each, yeah. That yeah. way you throw one, have one for each hand, you're good to go. Excellent. And then I think that I would like to just 
kick this door as hard as I can and yell, time to die, bitches, and then we can just start throwing Molotov cocktails and just wreaking havoc. Is that good with you? <laughs> yeah, you guys um, are yeah. in here, just, just so you know. You These want me to get are... to the top of the second floor? I can get to the second floor. Uh, I do think that we shouldn't go too far from each other because, I mean, we could get surrounded. And, uh. it's, you know, it's better if we work together just in case somebody gets surrounded. Uh, but, so, maybe stay within, like, 60 feet of me? That way we can always work together if we need to. Okay, I mean, I just wanted to know if you wanted fire to come from above, too, because, like... Oh, I can just well, we could throw it up there, stairs. though. Just... Yeah, I don't need stairs. I can just go straight up. Oh. Well, if you want to just run up there and toss some fire and then run back down, that'd be good. Yeah, like, I can do that in, like... It takes no extra time. Oh, that sounds perfect, then. That's a great yeah. plan. Okay, I'll, like, I see no the... problems with our plan right now. I think that we are really good at planning, and I don't know why people made phases when they said that we were going to be doing this. And also, like, they had guns on the second floor, so I feel like you're more likely to get shot if you're below them. Oh, that's a good point. But if they actually uh, no, throw I some fire down here, throw throw some fire up there at them, and then they're gonna have to come right. down, and then we kill them when they come down. This is true. Yes. Uh, I I need to, I should stay down here. If they shoot at me, that's fine. I mean, we'll try to minimize you being shot. <laughs> that's it's funny that you think they're going to hit me. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. All right. All right. So we're just gonna kick out this door. I'll aim for the top if you want to start blasting the the sec the lower level. Uh, I would like to kick the shit out of this door. Do I need to make a strength? No, strength it just anything? disintegrates. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you roll to. It's a regular wooden door. <laughs> you know, in a in GTA Five, when you're doing like that super heavy duty bank heist where everybody's in like riot eaters and minigun, and yeah. they're just destroy things for the sake of destroying things. That's what this is. Only instead of, you know, three middle-aged men in right gear, it's a teenager, her kind of mom, in, like, party dresses. I'm great. in fancy armor. I'm assuming that I have, like, a, like a tavern, but... Yeah. Alright, so you disintegrate the door... Uh, so the plan is, where are you throwing the Molotov cocktails? Um, I like to, so this place has, like, an over, this place is, like, overhangs the, the first floor. That's, like, a... Yeah, something. you gotta get up to, like, there's a small set of stairs right here. Um, to go up to this, uh, dragon chest area. Alright, dragon chest sounds pretty flammable. I would like to... Uh, this is the door we kick, up, kick open? Yes, that's the door you kick open. Alright, 5, 10, 15, 20, sorry, the mouse kind of small, 20, 25, 30. I would like to throw a uh, Molotov up there if I can. If I don't have a direct line, I'll just throw one in here. <gasps> Ooh, no, at the bar, right there. Okay, you want to throw at the bar? Juicy, okay. juicy target, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm coming up around the corner and I'm throwing mine into this bar. Alright. Um, Melanie, uh, give me a, like, a dex check. Just a simple one, just to, like, lob it. Okay, pretty good. Uh, you, there's a small fire that starts there, and the bartenders start getting the fuck out. Um, Aoife, uh, where are you lobbing yours? Okay. Right into the bar I pretended to be drunk at. Okay, uh, you lob yours there. Uh, the security guards are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Do I hear just shit going down on my earring? Yeah, you start hearing that. And just as the fire starts going and starts burning things, we will be lying back to the vampire room. <laughs> oh, so much shit's going down everywhere. All right. Uh, Zaitari, it is your turn. Oh, I see. Um, I'm gonna fucking slash her. Okay. You know, as I have been. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. Those other two hits should have had a uh, plus five to them, so it would have been an extra ten as well. All right. I don't know if that made any difference, but she doesn't look very good. I might imagine. Mm. Just polymorph her and toss her in the the portable hole with the body. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! Okay. Uh. Phew. Yeah, that's 18 plus 4. That's 22. Keep in mind, this is not to kill her. This is just to try and knock Actually, her out. Actually, the necrotic she... damage wouldn't go, so 18. Uh, plus 5 as well. Plus 5. She's still up? Yes. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Basically, like, I imagine I'm taking my sword and I'm just, like, fucking trying to choke her out. <laughs> okay. It's working on it. Alright. For your there flourish, do you just kind of wave your sword around in the air a little another bit crit. while you choke her out? That is another crit, though. Uh, and there's added damage to that because of the... Yeah, you knock her out. Plus five, yeah. All right. Uh, you guys have to figure out what you you what if what you have to. How do I? All right, you knock her out, but you see her wounds are starting to heal. So you have six seconds. <laughs> Think of something. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't have also, a way to make the sun. Also, she into a bat. Possibly at will. What did we say that, um... Oh, that's never not going to be uh, activated, even if we did have it in the hole, the portable hole. You you left the sun sword at home. I think we, I, we asked this, I asked this before, but you left the sun yeah, sword. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's what, uh... That's what Melanie said. I generally carry it on me, so it wouldn't have been in my bag of holding. I just wouldn't have thought to put it in there. I remember we were talking about bringing it. You said it's to help over yeah, at it. first I thought I could hide it under my armor, but then I realized I could just have a bag of holding, so. Okay. Uh, you guys think of something to, to, to restrain her with. Uh, back at the casino. Uh, fire's going down. Um, so I, I've been listening in on this earring for a bit now. And I am going to, I, I guess I'm going to try to communicate through it like I do with a brooch and just see if it works. Okay. And I'm just going to yell, all of you motherfuckers are about to die. Okay. And then I would like to, <laughs> to run uh, up here, two, three, four, and then uh, toss, actually, five... Six, and then go ahead and try to toss like toward the pool tables I guess I don't mm -hmm. know if there's an open area there's little puffy clouds and I don't know what that means uh there's a door you have to go through oh okay um I will just let's see where where does it look like I could do the most damage I guess I'll just toss it the gra dragon chest it looks pretty flammable okay I'll try to hit an area with pillows or tapestries or something something that'll catch really good okay sounds good Ifa, where are you up to uh, I'm running across the casino mm-hmm to over here that's 55 feet and I'm aiming upwards onto the second floor. Okay. Just give me a dex check. God dang. Alright. Uh, it, it gets... You, you get this couch. <laughs> It'll enough. burn up. That's what fire does. Yeah. Um, Melanie. Yes. As you are watching uh, Aria started to go engulfed in flames, what's your passive perception? Um, oh, hold on. I opened my sheet and then it made itself really tiny and weird shaped. What the hell? 
I don't even know how I did that. Uh, let me let's see. Passive perception uh, would be seventeen. Okay. Uh, in this area, you hear a. I I hear a what? I hear like tapping. Yeah, you hear a tapping as. There is a um, a little metallic mechanism at the top of above this bar area, mm. and you see. Hold on, how much water does it create? There we go. No, they have magical sprinklers. <laughs> As a uh, create water mechanism goes off. And you he see a sploosh of water. However, it's only a one-time thing. Um, I can I take any other actions? Like, do I have any more go in me? I mean, you can move. All right. Do I see any of those bullet guys? Any of the guys with guns? Oh uh, yeah, they're um they're 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 a couple stationed here and here and there was one here that was like moving in your direction. Okay. I would like to you said there was one over here? Yeah. Okay. I would like to just fucking Thunderbird dive into that man's chest. Or girl, I don't know. Okay. Either. And just just smash into this person <laughs> as hard as I can and then just stand over top of them glowering uh, because I'm assuming since I threw my Molotov t cocktail, I do not have any attack actions at this moment. Probably not. Um, yeah, I'm going to say you can do that because, I mean, they're... They're dead. I, you're, you're probably going to destroy them. It's... No lie, they just splatter in blood. Uh, Aoife, you do witness a few of the create water sprinklers. It's more like it's more like a a, a poor gallon of water on fire area, uh, uh -huh, but they're not uh -huh. everywhere. There is still a fire going, but they're not like, you know, it's not. It's like more like a concentrated spurt instead of a wide sprinkle system. Um, so the fire the is continuing. Passive, huh? With the oh, okay, one back. passive perception. Do I see any of these little? Uh, water buttons on the ceiling? Yeah, uh, they're, most of them are above the alcohol areas. Uh-huh, makes sense, makes yeah. sense. Yes, yes. Okay. But you can spot ones that aren't directly below alcohol places um, of storage. Because my intention, just so you know what I'm going to try and do next round, mm -hmm. is uh, find a wall run up the wall and splash my last Molotov on the ceiling itself. <laughs> I see. Uh, okay. Yeah, and, I can see that. Any alcohol that falls down will fall down burning. A lot of it's going to stay up there and burn. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's fair. I don't think they were planning for that. They were planning for fires, but not person that can walk up walls causing fire on the ceiling. Fair. Um, yeah, you could definitely do that. Say your best place would probably be above the dance floor area. It's it's gonna be a combination of because I have to go up a wall mm -hmm. and then chuck it at the same time. So I'm hoping like right here. Mm -hmm. Did you get this out? I can just go up right this little corner where the billiards meets the sitting area and splash. Okay, that's fair. That's ingenuity. <laughs> All right, you you you'll work on that. So, how are we gonna incapacitate this woman? Um. Well, there's not too much I could do about her right now. Uh, because they don't have any. Radiant damage, unfortunately. Um, I 
Unless a healing word doesn't work on them, and that would be considered radiant damage. I, this is not Final Fantasy logic, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, you not have the spell slots for what we said? Uh, well, I already did my action, so. Oh, okay. I knocked her out. <laughs> I'll just have to do it again. So. All right. Um. Let's see how much this. What yeah. about that? Isn't there that planar binding spell, that old magic thing? Do you have that? Uh, yeah, I do. Well, um, can that stop them from uh, shape shifting or like turning into a bat and flying away or gaseous form or whatever? Uh, it's or is dimensional that really... anchor. It's a reaction when they try to leave. So. Okay, but is it is it only if you're like teleportation type of leaving? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, she kind of blinks her eyes and the wounds close, and she realizes, well, fuck. Um. He realizes shit's going down. She, she's gonna try this anyway. Uh, Zaitari, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <sighs> okay. It's me. It's not like I'm a half elf with wisdom <laughs> save. Yeah, it's yeah. not like you have the ears. I don't know if a fifteen does it. It does not. Damn. Um, <laughs> you are her friend. <laughs> you, mm. you, you, you know the deal. That's unfortunate. Yeah. And she is going to go behind you. Um, Rain, you may take your attack of opportunity. Do it, please. It's a normal attack, and it's uh, not gonna do sneak attack. Alright, nine. She is still up. <laughs> <laughs> nope, she's gonna bite me. Yep. And at the... Well, it's the end of her turn. But once she takes an aggressive action against you, the spell's No, ended, it's not right? a spell. Or, I mean, the ability, though. Isn't charm ended upon aggressive actions? I mean, she's a vampire. I doubt it. Oh. I guess it would be maybe a special charm that you just kind of shrug off your friend's weird, you know, bitey tendency. Oh, I don't know if Strahd is special, so... I got... Yeah, I have to... <laughs> My friend, they bite me sometimes, but they're cool. Because I know Strahd's last for like a whole day, and it doesn't really matter what he does to you, you're still his friend. Damn. Alright. Yeah, you're basically, your best bet with Strahd is just to have him stay just within sight and be like, Charm, 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 go down the line. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. Um... She is... This is not going to end well for her. So, uh... She's going to work on getting that window open. And she says, please protect me. Rain. I'm working on getting it open, huh? Alright, so... I can get close enough to hit her. When I'm charmed in this way, do I... Uh, I just consider her friendly. Do I take uh, her orders, too? Uh, regards the vampire as a trusted friend to be heeded and protected. Gotcha. Okay. 
Alright, this seems to be the number I roll <laughs> for damage. Okay. Uh, you don't- it's sneak attack too, right? No. Okay, uh, okay. there's no one- I don't have advantage for any reason. Oh, I guess I could have, but I'm not- Well... Let's see, hold on, let me think about my action economy here. No, I have to not move to do that, so no, there's nothing I can do to get myself advantage. Okay, okay. Alright. Uh... But is she, is... Or no? Is she what? Is she what? She hasn't gone down, right? No, she's not. no, she's still up. Okay, well, still okay, so that's my, uh... Okay, so now I, so now I have to actually use my attack action now, because I'm pasted. So this is my actual attack action now. Yeah, she, she goes down again. Okay. Is Atari still under the effect? Uh, mm, maybe. <laughs> now, KK, if you take one of those torches and do what we said, <laughs> it might still work well, if you I'm shove so hard, hard enough. Uh, well, she is down. <laughs> shove hard enough. What? Yeah, I know what she. Well, I know what they're planning. Um, are you trying to put a torch in her butt? It's a duration, no? so technically, it's still on her. Uh, Jester's gonna try to break out of this. Uh, mm, let's see, bonus action. Um, let me see if I have anything I can do. Uh, you stab me? I have burglar's fat. <laughs> I don't think that would help. Mm. Uh, I have a portable hole. Um, I have, I have, I have a mana core testicle. <laughs> I have... <laughs> Time of opening. Potion of clay potions. I have so much shit. Um, you're. This is like the paw. This is the pause screen when you open the menu and you're like, "What can I use?" Just eat a bunch of cheese. Yeah. Just shove cheese. Um. Okay. So, as a bonus action, I'll open up my portable hole on the ground. Mm-hmm. And I'll use all my move action to drag her into the hole <laughs> and close it above me. <laughs> I mean, and you could get her ankles kind of in there. <laughs> I mean, I have uh, 60 feet of movement. Oh. Uh, mm. I'll go in with her. <laughs> oh my god. Know. Okay. Um, fuck. Uh. uh. <laughs> This is this is hysterical. All right, you're both in the portable hole. This is Jester is going to roll and save finally. Ah, uh, I see. That's yeah. unfortunate for him because now I'm going to beat the shit out of him because I don't have to protect. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to protect him. It's the end of his turn, so it's now your turn. Wonderful. I'm gonna uh, go up to him. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is gonna be hard. Plus, he took a lot of damage at the beginning. It's working on it, I swear. I, I, I figured. Firefox doesn't seem to like these sheets. Oh, man. It hits. He's not wearing any armor. Oh, sick. Um, okay. So he took, uh, like, hold on. So he took that much at the beginning. So I'm see. just trying to knock him out. All right. Uh, he's still up, amazingly. I I assume if you hit him one more time, he, if you can connect. Uh, I also would like to use my flourish on the next one. Right. Uh, yeah, just in case that happened. Yeah. Um. Uh, not the next one, sorry. I meant to use my flourish on this hit. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, I'm just gonna, Wow. Defensive again. Alright, he's knocked out. Alright, great. <laughs> Alright, um... Hold on, I need to see the rules of a purple hole. <laughs> uh, can I use my bonus action to start uh, breaking a chair? 
Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. I want to try to get some <clears throat> wooden splinters. Yeah, I, I, I think I know. You guys, oh, you, I mean, you guys are this many freaking levels up. You know about vampires. I'm not even going to, like, Okay. No All right, you start breaking up chairs. Uh, Rain, you're in a part of a hole with Birdie. Yep. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> uh, who starts regenerating again? Because you are only trying to knock her out. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so she wakes up. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she's like, she's in a hole. You can't see anything. She probably has dark vision. Ah, uh, that's true. Never mind. She, they sees, see. she yeah, sees Rain. I mean, it's just like a weird black room with Rain and some corpses. <laughs> there, it's, it's a room. weird black room with a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, Actually, wait, is it corpses or just severed heads? <laughs> corpses, Carly. That was one time it happened one time. <laughs> All right. Uh, she is going to backhand you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair. Uh, attempt to backhand you twice. Okay. Uh, the first hit is a 23. Uh, 23. Oh, a little more. Right, my, my AC is 22, but yeah, that'll okay, hit. Okay, okay. Uh, that is 11 bludgeoning damage. And then she's going to attempt to hit you again. Never mind. Never mind. She just wants me to fucking bite. Uh, so you guys she's are just thirsty, guys. Come on. <laughs> she's you, she's tussling in there with you guys. Um, it's her turn. Raid. This is ridiculous. <laughs> D4, you think statistically, I'd roll something besides the two, but no. Alright, she's still up because you don't have... Attack, so, uh... That was the melee attack, this would be my attack action. <sighs> you guys have to get a stake into her, seriously. Uh, we're trying! <laughs> you just need to let us do it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is a question. I'm charmed. Does it have to be on the same plane of existence? It's duration? Yeah. <laughs> Technically, it's still on. <laughs> Alright, she's unconscious again. Jester's also unconscious. <laughs> um, have, I, have I made, uh, as you've one made might a, say, a wooden stake? Okay, you have a great. wooden stake. I'm going to grab it, close my eyes, and throw it into the portable. <laughs> right, there's a wooden stake in front of you. Uh, yep, that's good. I'll definitely be picking that up on my turn. All right, yeah. all right. Birdie wakes, regens again. <laughs> keep on doing this. She's gonna backhand you. <laughs> it's a twenty-five. Yep. yep. She's gonna grapple you. <laughs> She's gonna attempt to bite you. I crit! <laughs> oh, no, no, this is not good. Uh, hold on. Um, you want me to reroll that, don't you? I'm She's out, out of lucky. lucky. Oh, just no. making sure. Wait, do I have? I'm, I'm double checking what don't I have. Don't you have your cloak on? Yep, I'm double checking. I know I took the... I think I put it back on because I got rid of something, but let me double check just to make sure I yep, have. Yep, yep. Because that could be very important. <laughs> yes. D d yes. Review all your choices right now. I mean, it probably I wouldn't put you down. Um, I, yeah, I have four attunement slots at the moment. So, yes, it is bad. Wait. Uh, okay, I have Hellfire. I have the Ring. I have uh, a Bondra's Triumph. And the Cloak. Yeah. Because Nymph Great. is with Ethan. All right. Let's, let's roll the dice. One, six, two, six. three. Wait, no, I don't have it on. I have the armor on. Oh, oh. Never mind, sorry. Okay. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Uh, Alright, uh, so you will take seven piercing damage. And. Ugh, so much necrotic. Uh, 13 necrotic damage. 
and she regains hit points. Uh, yeah. Get the stake in her! <laughs> okay. Please, Please I beg you. Take them when they have hit points? Huh? Huh? Take them with hit points? When they have hit points, or is it only. No, you can't. All right. Well, we'll try. We'll certainly try. All right. Ray. All right, three times. Okay, so um, a stake, I imagine, is not a finesse weapon. No, it's... I believe it's an improvised weapon. You guys uh, literally you use a chair leg. You broke it off. I think it's an improvised weapon. Oh, that... Oh, <laughs> this is going to get real funny. Um, so I don't have... I don't have proficiency. Nope. And I have a max one. So. Yeah. Oh my god. Your girlfriend is not very strong, okay? Uh, shit, that is close. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. Okay, uh, we're gonna go back to the casino. So, they're having a little more luck there. Uh, Aoife, you are to you are going to run up a wall mm -hmm. and smash a Molotov cocktail to the ceiling. Yes. Okay. Please describe this, and I assume this will probably be some type of acrobatics roll. Okay. To like finessely do this. Yeah. Um. So what I am envisioning is doing like a little, uh, like at the beginning of American Ninja Warrior courses, where yeah. they're just kind of like they're rocking back and forth on their feet, like hyping themselves up to go. Yep, yep. With my last Molotov in hand, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna run up the wall right here, get to this just before the ceiling. Instead of trying to go all the way up, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get like. 40 feet up or so. Okay. And then do a kickoff while trying to keep the Molotov as level as possible the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then as I'm going up through the air, just kind of spin it. Okay. Like a empty bartender flip directly yes. into the ceiling. I see. And hope none of it falls back and hits me. Okay. Let's see it. All right. Rex? Yep. All right. I think I'm proficient in that. I'm pretty sure yeah. you're proficient. Yeah, it, 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 it happens just as you describe it. And then I slow fall gently back down to the ground. Uh, okay. I gotta check something. Please shoot me in the midair. I'll catch your bullets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm checking something else. Uh, there we go. Do, 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 do. So yeah, aiming the fire right about here. Uh, uh, hmm. But on the ceiling. Okay. The ceiling is now on fire. Oh, yeah. Melanie, you see the ceiling is now on fire. I grin. <laughs> um, and people are running out. Also, they saw All you, right. like, drop kick a dude and he splattered <laughs> into a shower of blood. Um, I think people are smart enough without rolling intelligence checks to know that you guys are bad news. I mean, you guys are the heroes of Leona. Well, you are. Yeah, I'm just some random kid that's been tagging along with the heroes. Yeah, but you've done some pretty cool shit, too. Yeah. So, um, let me know how you want to deal with the running away of masses. So, are... anyone who has a gun or looks like they're trying to turn into some sort of were creature miscellaneous rare creature since apparently just a zoo bit people um i'm gonna stop those people with violence okay uh however if they're just like some dude with a mop 
I'm not gonna hurt them. Like, I feel like they're probably just making a living, and I'm not gonna do anything too shitty. <laughs> if I find any, uh, anybody that looks like they're, like, management, they're coming with me. Okay. And my, my goal is going to be to hover around Melanie, so if someone tries to shoot her, I can catch their bullets. Okay. Uh, and let her do her work. Alright. I'm gonna roll a couple percentage dies. Well, the idea of catching a bullet out of the air. All right. All there right. is That's one guy who was brave enough to shoot you, Melanie. Oh, okay. Let's, let's deflect some shit if it's going to hit you. Yeah, it's not going to hit her. <laughs> <laughs> I get employees so, ready to catch it, and I just need to go water my mouth. Never mind. I mean, he's going to take, like, what, two rounds at least? To re to, to, if it's a musket-loaded thing, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Words. You guys, all right, so you have successfully terrorized the populace of this casino. Oh, no, no, no. It's not successful until the place is a smoldering pile of rubble at my feet. I mean, it's getting there because the create water sprinklers can't, they didn't, they didn't plan for spider climbing monks to Molotov ceiling. It's fine. Do I find any management that I can uh, take with me? Um, roll perception check. Now that I have, you know, interrogated some lobies. In my defense, there's a lot of smoke and fire and shit. That's getting there. Um, no. Don't see anybody that looks too important. Ugh, since I can't find any management, do I see any bartenders? They hear things. Uh, yeah, there, there are a couple that are, like, making their way to the exit. I would like to find the douchiest one <laughs> and attempt to acquire him through violence. Uh, I, do you I, convey you know this to you know, Aoife? Uh, yeah, I will let her know. I'm going to tackle that man. Okay. And then <laughs> I will tackle that man. All right, you, Aoife. Or woman. All right, both of you roll another perception check, please. <laughs> They're all equally douchey to you, Melanie. Aoife, okay. you fight the douchiest of the bunch. It's a man with a man bun and, like, oh. has, like, that toothpick that cut. You pretty much find Razor Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You find the bad guy in bartender form. I'm going to I'm gonna punch uh, Mel's arm just a little bit and point at him. I'm like, look, he's even got a handle. Oh, I, I googled Razor Ramon. Yeah, he looks real douchey. Yeah, that's... that's... Yeah, he's super <laughs> douchey. <laughs> I am going to very, tackle that very person. Very greasy. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to grab the hair. I feel like my fingers would just slide right off, but... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tackle. Okay. I am not going to... My attempt is not to kill, but to apprehend and take with me. Okay, sounds good. Let's I'm see how well... Bodyguard duty. Yeah. See how well you uh, tackle him. What do I need him. to roll? Um, just a strength check? Yeah, just a real strength check. Um, would it be like athletics? Yes. Would I, would I add my proficiency? Okay. Yeah, you like body him. <laughs> More like a lariat and he flips in the air a few times. No, mm -hmm. no, no, let me, you spear him. You just spear him to the ground. I, uh, I then just kind of pick him up by the collar and or ear, whatever yep. is handiest. Yep. And just say, I have questions. Okay. Let's, let's go outside so oh. you don't die terribly, yeah? Okay. He's let's not disagreeing with you. All right. Let's back in the portable the hole. The <laughs> 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 Can we get some, what is it? Benny Hill? Is that the yeah? <laughs> that yeah. The we need? That is basically what's happening right now. <laughs> Jester is still unconscious. Zaitar, well, yeah. I think you have a plan. <laughs> uh, is Rain able to do anything else before? She kind of whiffed three times. Well, I didn't know if she wanted to move or anything. Oh, did you want to move, Rain? I did have again DM rules always above Roth. 
And I only know this because I just finished running across straw. Technically, charm breaks on a change of planes. Doesn't have to roll that way. I'm fine, but just because I happened to read it recently, you know? Oh. Um, okay. Uh, I didn't know, like, this charm is not very specific. So, I'll I'll allow it. So, Zaitari, you, you are not charmed anymore. Oh, sick. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to cast Animate Object. Oh, Duh. I see. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to animate the chair splinters yep. to stab Birdie in the heart okay. when I see her. All right. Sounds good. I thought we were going to interrogate her. Well, she needs to be staked. <laughs> okay. okay. Or we can't. She'll okay. just turn into mist and go away. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. That's valid. Okay. Um. Uh, can I, um, with the rest of my turn, open up the portable hole? Yes. I will allow that. <laughs> All right. Great. What is what would be the equivalency of a fish in a barrel, vampire in a bag? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Actually, would the animate objects be able to move in and attack? Her? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Because, I mean, I can see in the portable hole. Yes, you can. Oh, I see. So, would they still be animated if technically they crossed a plane? Hmm. Mm. Or, when you open the bag, are you then on the same plane until it's closed? Hmm. Because air is going to go back and forth. Like, you can um, breathe the air um, if the bag is open. It. <laughs> so, oh my it's going to have me roll, but just don't pay attention to okay. it. Okay. See, these are very important questions. They are very important <laughs> questions. It's a dumb shit we come up with. You could also just grab I imagine that they would be small objects. Yeah, they would probably be small. You could also grab the steak out of Rain's noodle arm and be like, <laughs> Rain, <laughs> stab! Zaitari has noodle arms. She has a ten. Can, Can you guys I... hear this cat yelling at me, by the way? No. Oh, that's such a bummer. She's being very cute and talking to me at length. Aw. She's mad because her person isn't home yet. Coda's at the uh, vet overnight because he's Aww. still running a fever. So. Aww. They wanted to get a urine sample, but he just wouldn't pee. So. <laughs> and he didn't have anything, so I imagine they couldn't catheter him. No, they yeah. didn't. Like they don't know what's happening, and it's not like. I, I guess, like, it just didn't get to that point, so... Aw. Well, but... I hope everything turns out okay. Yeah. yeah same. He's uh, anyways. Like five. Ten. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it's up to you, uh, if the if enchantment holds. Okay, if we're saying that charm breaks on a different plane, I'm gonna say this will break if they go in. Okay. Then I will have to wait for her to come out. Okay, fair. But the door is open. The door is open, and I'm pretty sure both Rain and Birdie can see this. <laughs> I'm not sure she knows the splinters are animated. Probably not. I'll just say, like, from outside the whole Rain, Rain, you should come out now. Please tell me that you've killed her. <laughs> like, uh, her lying, her. wink, lying, wink, wink. Wink, 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 wink. I, 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 understand. Yeah. I understand, though. I know, this is weird. <laughs> um, Alright, her turn. Uh, she is going to regen some hit points. She is. And that now that she has firmly have rain in her grasp. Mm -hmm. She should totally leave. Wait, she's gonna chomp? She's not gonna leave the bag? Well, she's gonna try to chomp for some hit points. Oh, oh yeah, you know, that's valid. That's, that's a good point. Alright, she rolled a four. <laughs> so, <laughs> more die in the die bag. So she's gonna backhand you. She rolled a five. That's real little rogue. So, uh, she doesn't... Okay, she doesn't know about the stakes. Um... Yes, yeah, she doesn't know about the stakes. She is going to 
it's only a matter of time. She also might not know that Zaitari is no longer charmed. I'm pretty Which... sure if somebody's no longer charmed, she would know. She'd feel it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I think that's how charm usually works. I yeah. don't know. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, I'm okay with it working that way. I mean, I think it makes sense. I mean, her only option is to eventually leave the bag. I know. Yeah. Okay. But she could shapeshift. She might think she would have a better chance of the bat, except, I mean, then somebody just gets a tennis racket and takes it down. I know. So. <laughs> I, I... Okay, this is what she's going to do. Okay. She's going to take a running start. Rain, you get an attack of opportunity. She's going to attempt to die hard through the window. Mm. I'm going to do it with a steak. Is that a... I'm not... Oh, that's a real number. That actually yeah. hits! <laughs> Does she get staked? Uh, let's see... I don't know how stakes work, but it's... I mean, it technically has to be in the heart. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna write down a number. <laughs> uh, so if it's the chest like... area is this much of the body, I'm doing science, so... Oh, wow. Um... Okay. Oh, lord. Okay. So, get your science out of my D and D. <laughs> Rain, I want you to roll a number from one to a hundred, and let's see what you get. You're very close. I was gonna. It was under twenty percent. I'll just try. All right. She. Uh. She, you don't get her. She. You get her in the stomach, not the heart. Unfortunately. Zero damage. <laughs> There is a splinter in her stomach. She is going. It has to be. I will say it does have to be minimum one. You can't deal zero. Damage. Okay. You do splinter damage. Um. All right. She is going to. I guess it would be a athletics. A strength. Does Zaitari not get a chance to attack with the splinters? Uh, they should because they had their orders to attack when that's they true saw. so you ready the action all right let's see these splinters attack and i'll need a how many splinters are these uh they'll be small so however many it says that i can make them small uh, i think it's like eight small um because i know tiny is 10 let's see do, 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 do. And just skips right over small. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. I might. It might not have just caught. It just might not have copied. Hold on. This is the. Weird... Oh, maybe it's maybe it's small. Uh, because yeah, you make ten objects. Medium counts as two. Large counts as four, and huge counts as eight. So like it, it's basically saying you can make any combination of these. Just math it. Um. So there would be ten small. All right. Um, the reason why I usually do tiny is because they hit better. Okay. Um, with my ball bearings. All right. So roll ten. I'm gonna roll this d20, this d100 ten times. And hopefully you'll get the number. And tell me how many times you hit. Um. You're there's looking... an eighteen. 18. Uh, it, sorry, it's a plus six to hit on these. So. Five will What's hit. her AC? Okay. I will roll this five times. All right. Okay, the first one goes into the heart. <laughs> Yay! Wow. She is now paralyzed. Hooray! Okay, this clusterfuck is over for now. I kick her in the portable hole. <laughs> okay, back into casino. You have dra dragged Razor. You have dragged Razor Ramon out of the club. <laughs> All right. All right. I would it's like all to. You, Melanie. I'm not entirely sure what you want to accomplish with this. I look at him. He probably doesn't even remember his own mother's name. <laughs> Do you know any good gossip about people? Uh, Tell me. I, I hear things a lot. Good. Okay. Do you know anything about Birdie or Smoke? 
Uh, you mean Birdie, that pale lady that comes in the casino a lot? Sure. Um, I hear she likes him young. That <laughs> hey, just, just go away. I just don't <laughs> want to see your face ever again. Leave this country, please. It, uh, just never come back. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Be. I think. I think we've done great work here, Melanie. Uh, but we should leave. Oh. This ca we, the uh, casino is starting to go up in flames, and the city guard is starting to come up and be like, "What the fuck is going on?" And the fire yeah. brigade's about to. Ha ha you hear the fire brigade approaching. We so either leave, I've, or I'm gonna leave you. Go ahead and leave. I've got some things I need to take care of. Adjacent building, you know, from an alleyway going running up the side, getting up to the roof. Yep. Fair. Like that. Maybe. And then, whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, like, roof skipping away from the burning casino. Okay. Uh, back towards the warehouse district, because I have something I'm going to try and do. Okay, sounds fair. So, the first, uh, like, guard person that comes by, I'm going to say, uh, sorry about the possible damage to any other buildings, but this building needs to go. Uh, I'm Sir Melanie Tuoven. These people have been using this as a cover for human trafficking and have kidnapped my daughter. I see. Um, okay. Uh, he, uh, roll a persuasion check. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, I realize this is a crazy thing to say to somebody. Oh, shit! Uh, oh, uh, one of the heroes of Leona. Um, Lovely to see you. Um, my name is Lieutenant uh, Jeremy, um, 5th Battalion. Uh, all right. Uh, do you have any... Uh, uh... Lieutenant, Lieutenant Jeremy, yes. uh, just to let you know, there were many wear persons of various types uh, operating out of here. So you will want to let your person, people know that uh, if should any danger break out, it could be more dangerous than they imagine. I see. So I'll carry every... silver, I, yeah. I assume. Uh, yes. Okay. Will do. Um, also, if you could send a runner to the palace, I will need to speak with the spy master and possibly others about a threat. Uh, the threat to my daughter is one that could affect uh, other things, since they are trying to ransom her for something that could destroy many things. Uh, I see. Okay, uh, we, I will do that immediately. Um, if you can turn any er, turn any uh, evidence over to my captain, that would be... Right. So, warehouse down that way, I've got two people. Uh, one is a little bit covered in jam, just don't worry about that. Uh, the other person... Uh, is... They can't get into the mansion. You, you can't get them yeah. right now, but I have, I have two people that were willing to, to talk. I did make them promise not to go back to a life of gangs. So, <laughs> why is it every time Melanie tries to do anything like serious or even remotely political, she just ends up sounding like a lunatic? She did roll because that's on that's on brand for her. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, she did roll twenty six. I'm helping you to uncover this underground like organized crime ring, but one is covered in jam. Don't be alarmed by this. <laughs> and we made the executive decision to burn down. No. It's not I right. Got to go. <laughs> yep. They took my daughter. I have no evidence of this. It's many miles away. <laughs> it's a hundred feet of a tunnel. I okay. Uh, he starts giving orders to the um, to his men, and he directs a few of them towards the warehouses that you pointed out. And he assures Again, you that it's a magical door. You won't be able to go through. But once I get down there, I can let you in. It's a whole thing. Actually, I can't let you in, but I can bring them out. Look, also there might be a dude that's cursed. So, you know, just don't hurt him. He's cursed. Maybe we're not sure. You've got this. We believe in you. As, we fade, as, we, as we fade into the next scene with the inn, you have a paralyzed vampire <laughs> and then an unconscious gentleman.
dear lord, that was much more complicated than it needed to be, if I say so myself. <clears throat> uh, I believe the word is clusterfuck. Yes, I think that is correct. Um, how? I have a quick question. How far are they from the casino? There are Walk outside and be like, well, you, there, you guys are just several blocks away. <laughs> Can oh, we'll see the blaze. The yeah, you, probably at this point. Oh, I'm sure that when we actually leave this place, we will definitely see the blaze. Uh, because um, what I'm going to... Uh, Rain, just go invisible. I will make myself and Jester invisible here. Let's just walk back to the uh, mansion and put them somewhere safe. We'll do that. I, I imagine when we walk outside... Kind of look at this guy. There's a giant inferno. And I just say, this. we're not surprised, right? I just sigh. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I just killed a lot of hedgehogs. Yeah, you oh, did. No. Oh, yeah, you oh. did. Oh, no. <laughs> I totally forgot that they would still be in. That's why I thought, mm, why yep. is she throwing it? Oh no. Oh no! Melanie realizes that and is really sad! <laughs> oh my god. Leia had to come up and check on me! Oh no! <laughs> no, don't share hedgehog pictures! I don't deserve <laughs> it! Oh no! Well. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Rose out here for one night, and this is what happened. Yeah. My uh huh. Rain <laughs> gets in a slab fight with a vampire in the bottom of a hole. Zanari breaks up some furniture. Melanie murders hedgehogs. <laughs> no. You successfully start a casino fire by bypassing the the sprinkler system and setting fire to a ceiling by doing flippy shit. <laughs> And also, I stole some, I stole some Yes. Also, your boyfriend is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this session? I don't it's know. It's, it's uh, pretty wild. Husband. Husband, yes. Bro, this is why you never, ever leave us alone again. <laughs> do not leave us alone. <laughs> The, the little thing I want to do, too, is not going to help with the image of the session at all. It's also... Just so you know, Lynn, that is my friend's hedgehog, Ripley. She is disappointed in you. <laughs> I personally know this hedgehog. Ripley, I'm face. That is a face. <laughs> yeah. I think that's I'm her Christmas to... picture. <laughs> I'm going to start a hedgehog sanctuary in their memory. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Um hmm. Uh Melanie, where are you headed? Uh Aoife, where are you headed? I know that Rain and Zaitari with Jester, you guys are headed towards the warehouse. As you're approaching, you see guards kicking in the door and are like, What the fuck? because you guys left the wear beast there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that did. place is filled with blood and corpses. Uh, also drugs. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm doing some math. <laughs> Real quick. Okay. Uh, so with dashing, right? Mm -hmm. I can do a mile in like four and a bit minutes. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is just because you can never be too sure. Uh, I've got a pretty good passive perception. 21. Uh, I'm going to pull out my kazoo. Because uh, I kept my own kazoo. Mm -hmm. uh, of the selection that I gave. To Shattuck. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to start tearing ass. Through the business and warehouse district. Mm -hmm. uh, playing kazoo sandstorm. Uh, to see if I hear anything in response. Trying to see if maybe Shattuck's being kept somewhere. And can yell out to me. Because of 21 passive perception is pretty good. Okay. Uh, and Shattuck isn't necessarily subtle. Uh, yeah. When she wants to get attention. Um, so I'm just going to zoom around a bit. 
<laughs> See if I can get any responses besides people yelling at me to shut up. <laughs> okay. You you do that. Uh, we'll we'll get back to that. Um. I mean, I've done it before in my other game. Played Sandstorm Kazoo. You've done it in this game. And I've done it in this game. <laughs> Um, it's the ultimate sea invisibility, sea invisibility spell. Because everyone gets so frustrated with it, they just immediately reveal themselves. Yep. Um, okay, so you guys arrive at the warehouse. Uh, the rest of you. They're guards. <laughs> um, Melanie is going to stay at the casino and just, like, make sure she's not needed with anything. Okay. So. Like in case an official needs to ask more questions. Oh, they're or, they're putting out the fire. They're kind of to... like, focused on the fire right now, and also, containing it. Like, I mean, she's considering going in and saving a hedgehog, <laughs> but she knows that that's probably not smart to do, so she won't. But she's like real sad about it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <sighs> so yes, uh, Rain and Zaytari, you are at the warehouse. Uh, there are some guards. A couple of them recognize you because, you know. Oh, we're invisible. Okay. Nobody sees you. Uh, they're currently. I'm just going to say to Rain over the brooch. <clears throat> do you want to acknowledge this or do we just go go into the mansion? Would we see that? Um, how, how are the guards acting? Uh, they're currently um, looking for evidence, making sure the crime scene is not being touched. Yeah, they're they're taping off certain places before um, I guess CSI Valido comes here. I mean, honestly, we are the heroes of Leona. We can acknowledge this, uh, just make their lives a little easier, and uh, get the word out of what we're looking for. You know. Mm, I suppose it's fine. I'm just worried about Jester waking up and us not having him restrained, really. Uh, I'll talk to them. You can go inside. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take Jester inside and manacle him up. Okay. Put him in the cell where the other two aren't. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, you don't have to roll anything. He's he's a person. I'm sure uh -huh. you can get some servants to help you. Uh huh. Okay. Um. All right, Rain. Uh, yeah, there are a few I guards. I actually walk myself back out to the warehouse, and an invisible myself and walk and uh, walk start walking up. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. trying to just hands at my side, uh, strolling yeah. in. You know, um, you're flagged down by a um, a more decorated guard than the rest. Um, greetings, uh, Rain, uh, Lieutenant. Uh, uh, Jeremy uh, Luth, uh, Division 5, um, your compatriot told us about the situation in, uh, in great detail. Great. Have you found anything since you've been here? We didn't have time to do a full discovery. Uh, unfortunately, we just started sealing off the perimeter, making sure none of the crime scene is going to be touched uh we're gonna wait for forensics to get here to do a full sweep so just making sure everything can be touched uh, just by a cursory glance of the establishment it is filled with um narcotics um hallucinogens uh um What's that word? Um, fake art. I, I can't think of, of the word right Counterfeit. now. Counterfeits. Counterfeits. Thank you. Counterfeit art. <laughs> um, and yeah. we think we've located a ledger of sorts. So we're probably going to bring that in for evidence. We want to take a look at that. Um, if you could also contact... Uh, the yes, the spy master. Um, <laughs> your your pit compatriot has already requested that. I sent the runner ahead to do so. Uh, <clears throat> I'll have some business to take care of inside. Um, we will periodically check on in on you. Of course. Then I'll head into the mansion. 
He sees you disappear into the mansion, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry about <laughs> it. I didn't sort of tell them to expect that, so... Alright, you get, you are in the mansion. <laughs> I'll go find uh, the Atari. So, uh, do we want to wait for everyone to start the party, or are we going to do our own interrogation? Um, that's up to you. I can wake him up now. I mean, <clears throat> he's manacled and in a cell, and, well, we have the vampire in the bag of holding, where she doesn't need air and staked. So I think we're probably okay. We can find out. No time to waste. Yeah, I'll cast a first level healing word and bring okay. him back up a little bit. All right, he wakes up. Oh god! The <laughs> word that you use, bitch, wake up. <laughs> um. Heals for seven. Okay, he is up and not looking very good. <laughs> Hi, Jester. We're really sorry about all of the, you know, hassle that had to be done, but we didn't want to show our hand and you go running away and telling people what was happening and all that th stuff, so. Mm -hmm. I will say that what I said was not a lie. It's just, you know, you work with human traffickers. It's kind of, kind of a shitty deal. He, he, he has that look on his face that's, like, fair. <laughs> Rain, you can start it off. You seem to be a man who... Real would realize that, um, whatever arrangements and previous business dealings he's had... ...kind of run their course. And, normally, I think you would know that we'd both be quite happy to get you and leave you. You know, someone when no one ever finds you. But we have things we want. You have things you want. Let's do a fair, equitable exchange. I'm listening. Okay. Recently, a person who is very dear to us was kidnapped. And we want them back. Very simply. Or the means to get them back through our actions, information, locations. How much do you know exactly? Well, he 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 frowns. Unfortunately, I do not know much myself. Um, my dealings with the hounds mostly consisted of, you know, running the casino. Most recently, tending to, and he will motion to the bag, uh, her needs. He doesn't know she's in there. Right. Motioning, uh, he, tending to, uh, Miss Birdie Grimm's needs. And what is it that she wanted? To make sure things were being run smoothly, pretty much. I see. Do you know who this uh, is? It Shadow. That that his name. Um, Smoke oh. was the one that Smoke. we were told. That's it. You know, I keep getting close, but I'm just off. <laughs> um. Do you know Smoke? Not personally. Yes, it seems a whole lot of people haven't actually met with them. In the event that oh. things have gone wrong, 
and a little less aggressively. And you had information to relay to people higher up on the food chain. How would you go about that? He 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 th- he he thinks for a little bit. Well, I would say Birdie definitely knows more than me. <clears throat> mm-hmm. For sure. Um She's probably your best source of information, though. I don't know if she's going to talk. But... If... The, the the impression I get is if you're looking for smoke and they actually know that you're looking for them, then they'll eventually find you in some way of communication. I see. And um, is there somebody above smoke? We got the impression that there was. Yes. Uh, from what I've heard, it, that was more recent. Um, from what I gathered from Jim and um, the higher ups, uh, this higher up, uh, the one above smoke, didn't come into play until... In, in the crim- recent criminal underground until this past year. Hmm. That's interesting. Before everything else, it sounded like Smoke was running a lot of the criminal underground. Um, wasn't using Undead to do it either. Didn't seem like their style. And this new individual is using Undead? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I mean, that's, we did that sound like, like something uh, seven vampires. True. <clears throat> that sounds like something a uh, uh, black dragon would do. I mean, I think so, but I'm not the DM. That's just my me as yeah, a player I know. Just, assuming. Uh, uh, from from the knowledge that we know of black dragons, is that something that they would do, Darren? Um, you're unsure. Mm-hmm. I mean, all dragons are different. They have different tactics. Mm-hmm. Very hard to, as a whole, you haven't heard just about black dragons. Let's just say that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um. But hmm. I guarantee you, Birdie will probably know more about the situation than me. It just depends on whether or not you can get her to talk. Mm-hmm. Well, we have a sun sword. I feel like that might make her talk. Um. All right. Well, Chester, why don't you just do in here for a little bit? We have some companions that we're waiting to return. Uh. Since we're not really sure what to do with you, we have some other where creatures who attacked us so um roll an insight check sure also i'm tired so that's why my brain's just like oh that's right i should be inciting him (sighs) yeah 27. He is suspiciously calm compared to the other two you captured earlier tonight, tonight who were f- freaking out. Sure. Did you think this was going to happen to you, Jester? 
You seem very calm. Well, I know what kind of business I'm in. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not directly involved in it. I know who I associate with. Who mm -hmm. I associate with. If you're not going to do me in, they would eventually. And I've kind of made peace with that. And if not them, and he, you kind of get the feeling he's mentioning the hounds. If not you, then them. Kind of mention, you know, gesturing to the hounds. If not them, then whoever's above them. Mm -hmm. That's all. I mean, it makes sense. That's honestly about what I figured, so... Alright. Um... So, you continue to kazoo around the city, Aoife. Uh, there's some shoes that are thrown out of windows. Yeah, deflect missiles. Yep, yeah, that, it, it's shoes. I'm not going to make you roll for it. <clears throat> I'm just going to have a collection of shoes with me. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, no return kazoo playing. Okay. A good shot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm fast, so it's like it, it's not like a, the biggest time sink for me to try and try and see if it works. So, all right, uh, Melanie. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll start heading back to the warehouse then. Okay, Melanie. Uh, looks like they're getting the fire uh, under control, and a couple of people are you know caution taping off the casino. Um. Search for evidence. Uh, they do find drugs in the storeroom. Um, I'm shocked. Shocked, yeah. I tell you. And eventually, like with your help, they find the underground tunnel. So, yeah, they'll start searching the rooms down there. All right. Um, I will... Once I see that they've got it pretty under control, I kind of go through a, that with them a little bit and make sure that they don't get ambushed by anywhere creatures that they were unprepared for, despite okay. my warnings or anything like that. I will um, head back to the warehouse. All right. And... One of the things do they find, uh, besides the Gardarian Shepherd that was in the basement, who they successfully uh, um, snare and bring out, uh, the room that the dog was guarding is full of caskets. Hmm. hmm. Curious. Um, oh, that's probably where the vampires were sleeping. Yeah, caskets with some grave dirt inside, you would assume. Uh, oh, that means that one bitch that went to miss is going to come back here. Uh, so I'm actually gonna stake out right here. Haha. Ha, -ha. Ah, stake <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm also going to make myself a stake while I st do the stake out. I'm gonna stake out with stake. Uh, do you mm, inform the guards, good. like, what you found here and... Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I'll be like, excuse me, hey, uh, these are definitely where these vampires were sleeping. And we sort of made one go to mist earlier, and it's probably back in here, so... I'm gonna make a stake. You guys just, you know, be careful around this room. And oh. uh, uh, sh they say, should we get a cleric? Sure. Okay. Yeah. They'll send for a cleric. <laughs> um. Okay. I if I start popping open boxes, like, do am I am I getting any like hits on any of the boxes if I pop them open? <laughs> I mean, you find like. So the what you find a coffin with some grave dirt in it. The other coffins are full of bodies. Mm, people. Yeah. Dead people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. But there were what four vampires? Um, you fought two in the warehouse. Uh, Birdie's the third. Yes, you only fought. You fought only fought fought three vampires tonight. 
as, okay. as far well, as you're aware of. One of them went to mist. Two of them went to two mist. Of them two of them went to mist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't they generally... Do well, I, I might not know whether or not they come back, so... I was thinking they came back to their graves, but... Oh, maybe this is just where Birdie was sleeping. They also might not have made it back yet. Yeah, that's also a good point. I will chill in here and just make sure that it doesn't come in back and be like, Bruh! Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll an investigation check for me. Okay. I will note that I am fading. I have had a long day. It's okay. Uh, we're almost done. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, so it looks like a lot of these people here were probably used for feeding time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I figured when you said they were just dead people. Yeah, they're just dead people. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, this is a good place to end. Uh, we will reconvene here next week, uh, the 18th. Okay. Uh, the week after that is Christmas. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys are doing. I won't be available. <laughs> yeah, I figured. So Zoom. that'll probably be a moot week. And then next week after that is New Year's Day. <laughs> yep. I'm not doing anything, honestly. <laughs> I'm not I'm, doing anything for that. I'm free for the New Year's. I don't. I don't even stay up to midnight on New Year's Eve. Like, I'm just. I'm just an old woman. Yeah, so. I don't really do anything either. So. I mean, I'll stay up to midnight, but it, that's every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair. Fair. All right. Um. All right. Well, thanks for showing up. Um, we have a lot to tell Ro about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much. This has just been... Um, that, that's it awesome. has been a session. Yeah. <sighs> Especially fighting a vampire in a portable hole. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week then. Alright. Adios. Alright.